Spoon. And with that, <laughs> we are going live. Hello, all of you professional gamers. That was sorry, that was probably super loud. Out there in the world, I am Mega Amster, and welcome to another live stream. I feel like it's been forever and also like two seconds at the same time since I streamed last. I'm telling you, my perception of time is completely screwed. Um, I'm also like super exhausted today, so I apologize if I'm a little like not off, but like not you know full fully in it i was at my uh my nephew's birthday party earlier today and just like i mean for me it's an hour drive now to just to get there which is a long drive i also didn't have my uh i shouldn't say usual because like i haven't i've been drinking too much coffee lately um i didn't have my second cup of coffee in the afternoon today so it was like the first time in a few days so i'm a little off but anyways i still wanted to stream because i want to get through skyward sword hd this game that you see right here don't get me wrong it is not a bad game at all like i'm actually I'm, I'm very much enjoying it um probably more than i thought i would i just hadn't tried skyward sword for years because of i mean it took me a while to i, I mean I have, i've only been into zelda for maybe the last like six seven years so it really after skyward sword originally released and like um i don't know it was, just, it was just like i never really got around to it I never got it on the wii and by then like the switch was out and i was like eh should I really get it on the wii and then this came out and i was like this is the perfect time for me to play it so i've been enjoying it. i really have um because i've heard very mixed things from different people but from the people who really like this game i've heard they love it and i think i'm so so far i enjoy it i don't love it it's definitely not my favorite 3d zelda game i can already tell but it is enjoyable like i said at the beginning of any uh, of any stream though any audio video issues please let me know this is probably gonna be i wouldn't say like a low-key shoot like so essentially what i need to do just to recap last time i was actually able to i think i did some side quests but i also found the elden dragon so essentially oh we freed levias because the vice has been corrupted and levias said um link needs to find the three dragons of the three different major areas in the game and get each part of the song from each dragon to be able to play the song i guess to do i forget what that was even for i don't know why i have to play the song um but i was able to get to the elden dragon last time got one part of the song what i really like about this part this is honestly maybe my favorite part of the game so far because it's actually each time we go to a different area it's changing it up so last stream when i went back to elden like i lost all my items the bokoblins captured link and we had to escape and it, it was really cool it was like because this was the third time we had been in the elden area right but it just felt so refreshing and different because they changed it up with a completely with the mechanics and everything um and there actually wasn't a full dungeon to go through like i guess kind of exp like sneaking around elden was kind of the dungeon if you will of the area and like i enjoyed that a lot it was a lot fat more faster pace i mean i've already done six dungeons right if i've done three per area so like six major dungeons i should say so that's quite a lot so i'm glad that the dungeons seem to be winding down then again, the dungeons are like the best part of this game, I think. Um, Cause I'm not, a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of Skyloft in terms of like going around, finding side quests and stuff. It's a nice little area, and they flush out the NPCs a bit, but like, it's definitely, I think, it, it's up there as one of my least favorite. My, my least favorite part is still just the repetition of the first and second acts if you will i feel like this game almost has like a three act structure assuming that once i once i get through all these dragons i'm good to go and for the the final sequence of the game um but just like the first two the, the first one was good but once i got to the second kind of act and like all the trials and doing the dungeons again and just that and the switching off with side quests it got a little repetitive for me i will say but now that's why i really like this third act from what it's um showing so far it's just like I mean, I still have to. Well, I have to still have to explore Lanayru and Faron, which hopefully I can do both in the stream. That's kind of what I, I'm planning on trying to do if I can bang both of those out in one stream. Um, I want to. Uh, the thing is, I want to head back to Thunderhead though, because I remember last time, Stretch. I think there's, there's some new mini game with Stretch involving bugs over in the Thunderhead. Um, I almost did it last time, but like, <laughs> my audio is like completely glitching out. I still have to look into that issue. Um, I just haven't really taken the time to do that, and it's like, it's working now, so I'm just like, gonna leave it working for now. And if it really becomes an issue, I'll change it again for sure, but... I hate these tornadoes that just pop up out of nowhere, by the way. Maybe those, uh, those frog gods from the Wind Waker are here too, right? Whatever they were called. Um, I'm hoping to get the Lanayru and Faron dragons, assuming there's no other dungeons I have to explore to get those, which I... I don't see why Elton would be the only one where... It, 
you don't have to explore, like, dungeons, so... You never know. Yeah, bug heaven, that's what I need to do. There's no other goddess chest for now. So let me just head over here and hang out with their boy Stritch for a bit. Um, I... You know, okay, first of all, it, it's streaming. It's, like, literally streaming. It's so hard for me to, like, focus on one topic at a time because I'm also playing the game and trying to, like, talk at the same time. But also just the fact that I'm just exhausted today is also not helping. I, I was literally talking about something about the, the Dragon Gods, and now I just can't even think of what I was going to say. But that's okay because... Ah! No! Oh, I missed it. Wow, why'd I do that? Okay. My mind just decided to tell me that the boost button was the button to jump off. And no, it's not. Look at that, right next to you, Stretch. He's like, wow, Link, you just dropped in, buddy. I'm like, yeah. Stretch is really tall. Wow. I guess that kind of counterbalances uh, Colin's height, huh? Ooh. You ready to start catching some bugs? Oh, right, so I have to catch the bugs in the net? That's what this minigame is? 20 rupees for the beginner level. Well, we're gonna definitely do the beginner level. I just don't know what this game actually entails. Is it just catching as many bugs as I can? I will show you pictures of... Oh, okay, so we have to catch specific bugs. Okay, this is cool. Catch one of each. Okay. I gotta catch one of each bug. Gotcha. How many seconds do I have? Oh, I'm timed. Okay. Damn it. Can't get the, the the beetle. Hey, get down here. Come on. Come on. Come on, get in the net. Yeah, we got one. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, there's a cicada. Is that what I need? Ah, uh, I don't know. What happens if I catch a bug that I don't actually need? No, oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay. There's a uh, ladybug, ladybug. Do you need one of those? This is kind of cool. Except when the camera decides to get in my way. There we go. Okay, I need... Where would the ant be? Well, there's the... Um... Is it just... I think it's just a grasshopper, actually. Oh, the grasshopper's gonna be tough. Shit, I just realized. No! Come on! Come on! There we go. Oh, is that not it? What? Rats? I thought that would've been it. I wonder if the ant is gonna be like in a like a patch of grass or something. That's how I'm gonna get it. Is that one of them? That's not the rolling beetle, is it? Is the rolling beetle that one? Get a, hey. get over here! No, it's not. Okay. The heck? It's not a firefly, right? Come on! It's in my net. Oh, it was. What? That was not a firefly. You kidding me? Okay. Well, I still need... Uh, that's definitely a Deku ant that I need. Where is this going to bring me? Oh, I thought it was just going to drop me off the ledge. I honestly was not sure what was going to happen. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. No. There we go. Now all I need... How was that not... I could have sworn that first one I got. Hey, Alejandro. How's it going? Hope you've been having a good weekend. Where the heck is that? I swear that was like the first bug I got was like the Prey Mantis looking thing. Was that really not it? It was over here, right? I'm guessing they probably respawned. How is that not it? That looks like it should be the right bug, but I, th I don't think it is. Yeah, that's not it. What the heck? It's gotta be... Is it buried in the grass somewhere, possibly? No, it doesn't look like it. What the heck? That's bizarre. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Aw, oh, rats. Can I not get up there from here? Guess I gotta go back around. I have no idea where that other one's supposed to be. You know what I really hate, by the way, that I noticed, like, at the beginning, like, or not even at the beginning of the stream, like, before I actually went live. YouTube must have had some, like, update recently, where, like, for whatever reason, because normally on streams, I mean, I what, what I really need to do is, like, set a default, um, it's gotta be over here somewhere. What I really need to do is set, like, a default, um, thumbnail for, like, streams, like, when I don't, because usually, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually make, like, 
thumbnails for my streams. I just kind of, uh, no, I already have the ant. Um, maybe in one of these pots? Good to know, good to know the hornets are up here if I need them. Wait. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it! Look, I know it's you! Um, I, what I really need to do is sell, like, come on, get in, get in the net. No, 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 come on, come on. There we go. Okay, that should not have taken that long. That was not, that was really not good. Um, I really need to make, like, a default, like, thumbnail for streams. Um, but there, because usually what would happen is, like, I'll just schedule the live stream, and it just, it'll show, like, that weird, like, YouTube icon, like, the really weird one, as, um... Like the thumbnail, so there really is no thumbnail. But then, like recently, like with this stream, I scheduled it. It just, it what it does, it enlarges your profile pic and replaces that as a thumbnail. I was like, I mean, I like my profile pic. Don't get me wrong; it's over a year old. I gotta update it. But it's like, I don't want that as a thumbnail. So what I really need to do, I've also been kind of meaning to rebrand a little, or like redo the UI, uh, like the HUD a little bit for the streaming, um, just because it's been what six, seven months, not consistently streaming, but like every now and then. So I could use an update. I would love to do it for Metroid Dread, but we'll see if I have time. Maybe. Um, I guess I should have expected this. But wow. Is that... Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's a compliment. Make sure you look around for the right spot. Okay, under three minutes. Okay, I feel like I can get under three minutes. I want, no, I want to try. Let me try the beginner one. Maybe I won't do the bug wrangler one. I'll just try the beginner. Because I feel like I can get under three minutes. It's just that one took a while but now that i might know where they're all at so that will give me a better idea that blue like beetle right there it's tough to get it's the same ones every time oh that's weird come on lower come on get that come on it's okay oh maybe it's like the closer i get to him the he just won't actually do anything okay the mantis is up here so i gotta go up first and there's also one of the ants was up here actually i might as well just grab that while i'm at it and then I gotta remember the firefly is like down, way down below. It's an ant up here, come on. I better not step on it, I swear. Nope, Link, don't step, please. There we go. <laughs> I was worried Link was gonna step on it. Where is. See, it was here. Was it in the pot then? It is in the pot. Okay, I was wondering. Come on. There we go. Okay. Ladybug is. Is there one in the. No, I don't see one. I do know, okay, I do know where the other, the ladybugs are. Woo, okay. I think I can get under three minutes, now that I actually kind of know what I'm doing. Oh, no. Not up there. There is one ladybug down here. Okay, and now, the, I, I swear that does not look like a firefly. You can't watch the live stream for Metroid because of spoilers. Oh, are you saying, um, yeah, because I'm going to be, I'm going to be live streaming Dread in, I mean, what, a week and a half when it comes out, right? It's coming out super soon. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to try to start streaming that. There we go. That was a lot better. Um, but yeah, if you want to avoid spoilers, that makes sense. Um, also the chats take about 30 seconds. To, yeah, so Alejandro, so the reason why they take a while to get there is because, um, because for, for the captions, I have the uh, the closed captioning option um, set up, so I'm like I'm recording captions as well and uploading those to YouTube during that time. They make you do the normal latency, um, which will actually delay. I believe that's what it is. I think it delays the um, when the chats actually get sent. So by the time I'm seeing the, the chat pop up on my end, yeah, it's been like about 30 seconds. So I apologize. It's a little bit, um, but that's kind of I believe that's why that's happening, um, just because I have that closed caption option running as well. Oh, he just gives me the bugs? Blessed butterflies, they're not even worth that much. That's it? Ooh. Well, okay, bug wrangler is where I'm actually gonna... You know, let me try it. Let me try bug wrangler. Might as well. I will I will not say anything spoiler-wise about Metroid Dread in this stream, Alejandro, so you do not get spoiled. Um... I need you to catch a total of 10 bugs that I specify from among 8 different types. Okay, so a total of 10, but there's 8 specific types. Okay. Interesting, gotcha. Does that mean I have to, like... Okay, so not... Okay, not... The, the blue beetle. Good. That one's super annoying. Oh, no, I see. I see what it's doing. Okay, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There he is. Come on. No, no, no. No, no. Over here. In the net. No. Get over here! <laughs> 
<laughs> there we go, okay. I, I see what I see what it is. Okay. I thought it was like gonna be like any combination of the ten you can catch. Okay. I mean the thing that makes this a little I feel like maybe a little easy is that they're fixed places for all these bugs, it looks like. Um Whoa! No no no. No no no. No no no. Hey, go away. I'm gonna catch all these bees. Cause I can, and they will get out of my way. You're wasting my time, man. Hey, let me get the butterfly. Good, good, good. Okay. No. Down. Uh, is there anything actually down here? Crap, I don't know if I need anything down here. Unless maybe there's some in here. Oh, there is- uh, No! Rats, I didn't mean to kill it. Oh, it's a grasshopper. I do need a grasshopper. Rats, I do need that. Come on. Get my- What?! Why does it die right as it goes in the water? Do they respawn here? Rats, that's annoying. I don't know if it respawns. Okay. Uh, uh, that definitely wasted a lot of time. But, uh, let me see. Okay, so there's more dragonflies down here. That's good to know. Oh. No, I don't need that guy. I only need one Prey Mantis, it looks like. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing as well here. I think I think I need one of these cicadas, right? Come on. What? Ow. Don't need a ladybug. Okay, I got the butterfly already. I need two of the... Um... Oh, I do need that guy. I do need another grasshopper. Or I need two of them, actually. I only got the one. Come on. Get him on that! No! Wow, I'm missing all of them. Don't need the ladybug. I think there's a cicada up there. This is a practice round. I do need this beetle. I don't know if there's more than one of these beetles, but I do need that guy. I think I do need the cicada. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Most of those big pots seem to have bugs. Rants, okay. Can I, like, restart? <laughs> May I give up, sir? I am. I just, like, I, I feel like I want to get a fresh start and actually go in. Hey, I think it's fun. I just wanted to restart. Mm. Then again, I did lose, what, 20 rupees? Or I lost 50, okay. Let me try one more time. I don't want to waste all my time just trying to do this, because I do want to get on to getting to the, uh, the fair and the Lenebu dragons as well to actually complete the song for... You know, the story uh, side quest. But okay, let me... I'm going to start off going to the top, kind of like I was do doing before, and then go down. So I need the dragonfly. Why did you put your net away, buddy? Oh, please, come on. Come on, please. <laughs> I'm going crazy, get in my net! Is it going to fly away? Does it fly away? Oh, there's another one of the beetles up there. How how are you supposed to get that guy? Like up on the wall over there. Okay. It's okay, little beetle guy. Get him in it. Get him in it. Come on. Oh, don't go down there. No. Look at what. <laughs> and it looks so weird. Oh, this cicada right here. Okay. How in the world did that not get in my net? I am so bad at catching some of these cicadas. Because, like, if you just get way too close, it'll just trigger it and you won't be able to get it. What the heck? No. 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 Nope. I hate... Okay. The beetle, you have to put away with, like, B as well. You can't just, um... Press the R and put it away. I really hate that about that. Okay. Please. Please. No, no, no. Please. In the net. No! Not the bees! Not the bees! Where's Rock Beetle? Is Rock Beetle still down here? Go down, no! Run! Go away. Go underwater. Where are they now, actually? Are they gonna follow me out of the water? I swear, if they do. Nah, I think I'm safe here. Okay, let me just see if I can, like, actually... Catch some bugs. There we go. I know, like, I have to, like, sneak up on them. I know that's the actual way to do it, but, like... I'm too impatient, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I still need, let me go down here. I still need two 
of like the rock beetles. There's one in here. Yep. What? What happens? Mine up there. Come on. There we go. There's one. And there's a grasshopper in here. What? I thought there was. Oh, there it is. I thought it was in uh, the big jar. No, where are you going? You can't hide from me, friend. No! There we go. There's one. I'm not gonna... It's not... Oh, there's, there's another beetle here, too. I didn't even realize. Please. Yeah, okay. There's one more grasshopper out. Can I go back up that way? It doesn't look like that. What do I need? I just need... I think I just need the one more grasshopper and the one more, uh... Grasshopper and the rock beetle, dude. Not a good day for catching bugs. No, not really, to be honest, Alejandro. Definitely not. Um, I, I'm guessing I probably have to... Nope. See, walking around this slowly just wastes so much time, too, you know? Come on. Okay. I at least want to be able to complete this. I feel like I can. Actually, the last grasshopper's over here, I believe, so I think if I catch this, I should be good. But where are you? I know it's in here somewhere. What? Oh, there you are. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me. What the? No. Get in my net. Go. No. Get him in. No. Oh, where'd he go? Is he gone? Oh, did he just despawn? I swear. I hate catching bugs so much. <laughs> uh. I believe they respawn though, so we should be respawning here. Because that's literally all I need is that last grasshopper. And I don't know if there's another grasshopper. I think it might just be those two. The one in the cave below in that pot and then the one here. But it's not respawning, so I don't know. Maybe not. See, Stretch, it's not that I hate catching bugs. It's that, well, I mean, I do hate catching bugs. But it's that I literally, they, I can't find anymore. Uh, uh. What's actually up here? Oh, this area. Right. There was no grasshopper over here. It's just the dragon find the butterfly. I don't know if there's any others besides that one before. If I can't get it to respawn, I'm literally just going to quit and say, screw it. I'll do it later. Because, like, I don't want to just waste my time with this. I beat the beginner one. Which was good. But the reward was also, like, pretty bad. So... Not really worth it. Okay. Okay, the grasshopper is... Uh, I thought I just saw it. Is it there? Oh, yeah. It's hiding in the grass. I see it. There we go. That just took way too long. I beat it, but it took way too long. What is it? It's probably three minutes again, right? Yeah, stretch. No crap. Okay. I have to shoot for under five? Oh, I was this... I gotta try one more time. One more time. One more time. Oh, so am I actually keeping the bugs I catch? I think... No, wait. Because I've caught more than one fair on Grasshopper, so... I don't think so. Let me... I can get under five minutes. I was actually really close somehow with that last one. I can get under five. I'm guessing it's a piece of heart, but let's see. Right, okay, let's go, Stretch. Stretch, I got you. Let's go. I think it's the same set of bugs every time. Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay. Let me go. Let me go this way, actually, to start. See if that helps with anything. There we go. Got a cicada. It's always good. There's the, the beetle right here. There we go. There we go. Clean start so far. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Look at that. 23 seconds. I know. Alejandro, I was so close to the point where I'm like, okay, I gotta retry. Okay, I gotta go. These stupid grasshopper guys. Yeah, there we go. That's a good start. Those are the ones that are just like, they jump around all over the place. And then the rock beetles are tough too, because they just, they go really fast. I mean, I think I just really have to sneak up on them and get them. Oh, come on, come on. Get, oh, no. Ugh. Get in the net. I don't want to. I don't want to step on you. There we go. I don't know how I got him, but I'll count it. Um, okay. Yeah. And there's. 
Um, get these spider webs out of here. Come on. Get off. Get off. Okay. Oh, there's, yeah, there's another roly beetle dude in here. If I can get him. Come on. In the net. Come on. In the net. In the net, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I swear. Oh, yeah. I got the grasshopper. That counts. That's good. Come on. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. We're still doing good. All I need now is the prey mantis, the dragonfly, and an ant. There's an ant out here. <laughs> Gotta concentrate for this. There's an ant right out here somewhere. Yep. Oh, come on. Don't you run from me, friend. I just want to put you in a net. There we go. There we go. There we go. I just need that last one. Okay, now all I need to do... I don't know where, like, the other Prey Mantises are, so I'm just gonna go all the way to the top, because that's the best place I know. Um, oh, it's another Rock Beetle, cool. I literally just gotta go all the way around, because I don't know how else to get into the Prey Mantis. I mean, he said five minutes, so I've got plenty of time now. So now I'm actually doing okay. I just need that one Prey, like, Prey Mantis-looking dude up there. I don't know if there's any other ones besides the one at the very top. Good running start. There we go. I don't want to jinx myself just yet, but, like, I'm definitely looking a lot better than before. I just got to be careful for the bees right there, because they like to come after me. Then again, this is the last bug I need, so... Was it not in there? What? It's in the small pot, huh? No, oh, come on, come on. Don't, don't play games with me, bug. Get over here. In the net. Now. No! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> How did I know that was gonna happen? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, like, hope that jumping down re made him respawn. And now let's see if he shows up again. Because I don't know where else I can find the Prey Mantis guy. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's good. That's great. There's gotta be another one somewhere. There might have been one farther below that I missed. I really don't know. I really just need that one above to respawn because that's the one I'm missing. And there wasn't one in here, right? It's just grasshoppers. Yeah. Looks like just grasshoppers, nothing else. I'm hoping going through here will allow it to respawn up above because otherwise I'm going to be mad. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, okay. Here's the other one. Yeah, there we go. I got lucky there. I didn't realize there was a second one there. It was just a complete guess there. Okay. <laughs> Pretty decent. Oh, am I going to have to... No, fuck you, Stretch. I'm done here. <laughs> I'm done here. I'll take 80 rupees, but I'm not doing this again. You're done. Get out of here. Okay. If I get under three minutes, that's going to be the piece of heart. That's going to be tricky, I feel like. But honestly, I was looking pretty good until that last part where that last just pray mantis just avoided me. That was the issue there. Um, so honestly, with enough time, I could definitely get the three minutes. But we'll see if I care enough to go back and try it. But I don't want to spend too much time with that. I really I really just want to go and actually get to some of the other uh, dragons to get the other pieces of the song that I need. That's what I really need to do. And then we'll be good to go. I, am, I was thinking, because, like, going back to, essentially, right, um, with this game, you kind of, at least, I think it's only three times, you kind of visit each, like, main area, right, Faron, Laneru, and, uh, Elden three times, right? So... Each time I've kind of gone through that, like, cycle, I've always started with Faron. And what I like about this segment is that it seems like you can choose the areas, like, in any order you want, which is really cool, because I started with Elden last time to find the Elden Dragon first. I'm actually going to go to uh, Laneru next, just because I want to change it up a bit. I've been to Faron first every time. The other thing is I do know where the Faron... Uh, dragon goddess is, right? Because I talked to her before, in order to even get into the ancient cistern. So, the Laneru dragon, I have no idea. So, then again, there's probably going to be something more involved. I would imagine it wouldn't just be going to Faron, reaching the dragon, she'll be like, oh yeah, remember that? Yeah, that's, I know what song you're talking about. I could have taught you that long ago, but I just had not to. 
you know, I doubt it's going to be like that. It's probably actually going to be something more involved where I have to maybe, I don't know, the Faron dragon was kidnapped or something. I have to go find her. I don't know. Then again, I don't know how that'd be possible. Um, so here's the thing. I have no idea where this dragon's going to be. Let me just see what happens when I land in Lanayru. Because I have no idea what's going to happen. With Elden, right, when I went there... Oh, wait, whoa, what's Gorko doing up there? That's different. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go now. Wait, that oh, that's not Gorko. That's one of the other guys. I need to go talk to them. That's definitely what I need to do. Uh, but with Elden, right, I was captured, and it's just like it, it made sense in terms of progression. Whereas here, it's actually letting me land in Lanayru, which is interesting. I figured it would have done something to be like, oh, you can't land here, or it's like being really weird. I don't know. Golo, yes, this guy. How is your search for that sacred flame? Oh yeah, I'm all good. I did find it, Golo, but thank you. Thank you for inquiring. I'm glad... You know, Golo's one of those friends that, like, follows up and checks in on you. He he's a good friend. Link, you are truly amazing. I love his haircut, too. Look at his haircut. I'm just glad they don't have, like, the disgusting rock nipples like the Gorons and Twilight Princess do. I will... Like, as much as I like Twilight Princess, those designs... There are a lot of creature designs in Twilight Princess that terrify me. Like, the... The Ukos, are they called? Like, the humanoid cuckoos the the chickens and the the city in the sky those those are terrifying um to be honest a lot of the main villagers are terrifying like the the, the kid the baby who's like a kid and he runs his own shop he's terrifying i forget what his name is is it malo it's malo malo mart right i think it's malo like the yeah, it's just it's so the, the designs are very weird in twilight princess that's i will say that the the, the art direction is really weird i think it is time i tell you about the legend of the oh okay Right, hidden area, just be- Okay, so this is where the dragon's gonna be. A narrow passageway that was too tight for me to fit through. My gut tells me that one of the three dragons- The Thunder Dragon, Lanayru. Okay. But where was that narrow path? The robots are connected. Maybe the robots are being powered, at least in the past, by this dragon. Yeah, no, literally Alejandro. If you know, like, I don't know if you've ever seen the designs for the Gorons and Twilight Princess. They literally have rock nipples. It's terrifying. It is absolutely disgusting. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea to go with for those designs. Um, it's bizarre. The Thunder Dragon robots and time shift stones, right? What an adventure. I will say, Lanayru, out of all three areas, is definitely the most interesting. Where did you say that narrow passageway was? But where? Where is it? If only there was a way. Well, you know, if you told me where it was, I could go find it. He said in the desert, right? I think the fastest way to get there is through the caves, I'm pretty sure. Now that I have the claw shot. But I still, I'm... Actually, you know what I just realized I could do? I kind of want to do this before I forget. Are there any goddess cubes I can get? Where is that pointing me? Is that just towards the, 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 the linear desert area? Because I kind of want to see... I mean, I don't want to necessarily go after every goddess cube. But if I can douse for them and find them, then maybe... I'll, I'll, I'll go after them. I'm just not going to... Definitely... I'm, I'm not going to feel, like, unaccomplished if I don't get all the, the goddess chests. Or I don't... How did I miss that? <laughs> or all the pieces of heart and everything. But I'll try to get them if I come across them, you know? And I'll, I'll put somewhat of an effort into getting them. But I won't, like, be disappointed if I don't get them all. Yeah, there's one over... It's just, it's gotta be in the desert area. I don't think it's in here. That looks like it can kind of be blown up by rocks, actually. Have I been that way before? I don't even know what's over there, to be honest. Let me try... Look go the bomb, Link! There we go. Look, what's actually over there? Have I been through here before? I'm pretty sure Golo was... Oh, there's something different. Unless this is it. It's just, this is where Golo was before, like, mining this area. So unless this is literally where I'm supposed to go, that'd be funny. I mean, it'd work. I'm down for it. It really... I mean, it seems like this kind of third trek of going through all these three main areas, again, isn't nearly as long and, to be honest, a little tedious as the first two were. I just... I, I'm really liking the fact that it just... It feels a lot more concise and just faster to go through the areas now. 
Which is nice, because it's like, this is the third time I'm doing it. Um, you know, where before it was like... The first time was fine, because they were brand new areas. The second time was a little... I mean, yeah, there was the, the trials, but then again, the trials were still... The trials were a little uh, stress-inducing, you know, to do those Silent Realm trials. But also, like, I don't know. I don't know. It was just a little, like I said, the repetition just kind of got to me a little bit. But now it's actually, like, it's getting a little better. Oh, is this, this is it, I think. Lanayru Gorge. Yeah, it's literally, this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Okay, so this is a brand new area to explore. Oh, wow, it's a big area. Okay. Elden didn't really give me this, because with Elden, it was just like there was one um, area in the uh, like the summit of the volcano that I could get to now with um, the items I had. Yeah, I gotta use them. Oh, I gotta use the minecarts again? Okay. The minecarts, were, they were, they were kind of terrifying, but they're fun. I feel like there's a whole big area to the top left that I haven't explored yet. Oh, wow, this is a big area. Wow. Bring on the exploration. Bring on the new stuff. I'm down for it. I am down for it. Okay, there's a locked door there, so I need a key. Nope, I want to save. No! <laughs> Motion control's getting in my way once again. More like it's me, but you know. The constant recalibration kind of messes it up a little bit, I'm not going to lie. To be honest, I feel like I've never played the Wii original, but I feel like this is probably better on the Wii. If I had to guess. Like, I feel like it's probably better. Be I mean, it was designed. the game was designed originally for Wii motion controls. I feel like it's just kind of better by default. Um, are there any bombs laying around here? Because I could carry one with a beetle, but otherwise I don't know. There's definitely, a, there's definitely a time shift zone around here somewhere. There's some robots here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wait, this is the dragon. That's bizarre. So this is literally the dragon itself. Holy crap. That's terrifying. Yeah, this is the the, the Lanayru. Yeah, Lanayru is the thunder dragon, and it's just straight up dead. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. I'm not going to... Does this chain go anywhere? Oh, it does. Look at that. I'm glad I searched. Hold up. Can I get down here? What? I get it. Oh, you know, it's probably too far down. Can I get it with the beetle? Is the real question. Let me, oh, let me recalibrate. Get this down here. Honestly, the more times I watch the, uh, the, uh, the Nintendo Switch Online clip from, um, the Nintendo Direct with, you know, the N64 and Genesis games, like, the more, there we go. The more I kind of want the, um, there we go, there's the key. The more I kind of want to get the Genesis, uh, like, I I'm pretty sure they're Bluetooth wireless. Oh, Alejandro, did you play the original on Wii? You never finished it because I lost my, you, oh, so you had one of the Wii remotes with the separate Motion Plus attachment then, huh? Yeah, because that game's literally, I don't know if you can even play it without the Motion Plus. I think you straight up need the Motion Plus in order to play it. Um, which, I mean, makes sense, because it added a lot more accuracy. I can't even imagine trying to play it without the Motion Plus. Um, I also feel it's way better because the cursor's... Exactly! And, like, this is an issue. One of my friends who bought... Uh, I didn't buy Mario 3D All-Stars, but one of my friends did. And he was saying the same thing with Mario Galaxy, where... The constant recalibration, I mean, you get used to it, but it's a little annoying. Whereas, I mean, with the Wii, you have the sensor bar, so you always have, like, a fixed center point. You know, so it's, it's it's a lot easier to kind of um, control it that way. It's not like it's unplayable now, for sure. Um, it, it's definitely playable, but... What's the easiest way to take those rocks out, I'm actually wondering, because... Can I, like, lay down a bomb and then use the beetle quickly and bring it over, maybe? Go. No, get the bomb. I, can't, I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to do it, but it technically worked. I gotta think of another way, but there we go. So I need to get in this door here with that key I just got. And somehow there's a time shift stone somewhere, and that's gonna revive the robots and Lanayru, the Thunder Dragon. Entry to the area is only 
How would the neighbor get in here? He doesn't have hands, as far as I can tell. Maybe he does. What is this supposed to be for? Why? That's very specific. Another ant? Okay. Why would I need a boulder? It's just a stupid boulder! Okay. I'll figure it out. This is kind of funny, though, because we we essentially have to go through this whole area just to revive the Thunder Dragon, Lanabur. I wonder if we're going to have to fight Lanabur. Something tells me Lanabur just, like, just by, like, the, like, the glowing yellow eyes, I don't know, just something tells me that we're going to have to fight, L like, Lanabur, the Thunder Dragon. And, like, some kind of almost, like, um... What's the name of the the fire dragon from Ocarina of Time in the, the Fire Temple? I can't think of it off the top of my head, but maybe I'm imagining something similar to that. Interesting fun fact, if you didn't know. I didn't know this for a long time. Um, it's actually, I'm pretty sure in, like, recent, like not that long ago, there was some, like, a beta version of uh, Ocarina of Time released on the internet. Um, I, no, it's not a switch. I can't do that. Um, I just have to hit this time shift stone, I think. But what's interesting is that for that boss fight specifically, I believe, um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but that boss fight, they actually, like, the same kind of, like, motion, um, the programming they had for the motion of that fire dragon, I forget its name, in the fire temple, they used for the R-Wing in Star Fox 64. And so what's funny is that you can actually, like, um, I'm pretty sure in that beta version, you can somehow... Uh, there might be a way to enable it in the actual game, like, through some kind of cheats or hacks or something. Um, or if you enter debug mode somehow and you break it that way. Where you can actually, like, see they have, like, a model R-Wing, like, following the path of the Dread of Fire Dragon. It's super cool. I don't know. It's just, it's super cool to think of the fact that they, the, the, the stuff they reuse code for. And you see people complain all the time, like, on Twitter and, like, social media about, like, how, oh, like, they can't believe they're reusing this same animation for the sequel of this game. Like, I know people were complaining about uh, God of War Ragnarok, and they were, like, reusing the same boat animation. I'm like... Do not... First of all, do not know how long it takes to develop a game, and, like... That's, like, the most, like, smallest detail that... If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, of course, reuse it. Developers do that all the time. Nintendo especially. So, like... There's no... And, and second of all... Like, is it really that big of a deal? Like, why are you complaining about a boat animation being the same between two games? Like, okay. So a lot of people just, I feel like, don't understand. Or they don't even put. They don't even try to put themselves in the perspective of a game developer. I mean, I've I've done a little bit of game development. Um, it was one of my majors actually in college. No, I don't do any game development now anymore. I may want to get. I've I've been tempted to get into it as a hobby. It's just with work. I do programming a lot. And it's just like I don't feel like doing it outside of work. But work is work. But like, I wish more people. So many people on social media are ign ignorant about this. Like, they just really need to take the time to put, like, understand the developer's perspective. Of course they're going to reuse those animations. You see this with the movie industry all the time. There were some, like, old classic Walt Disney films that literally reused animations between films. It's like, p they do this all the time. So, I don't know. Like, so, I mean, sometimes if it's really noticeable, it's one thing, but, like... Who cares about a boat animation being the same? It's kind of it's kind of stupid. Or like the whole I know there was the whole thing about um, what game was it with the fruit? Was it? It might have been some kind of shooter. Was it? Was it Halo? No, it couldn't have been Halo. I know a lot of people complained about the Fire Emblem Three houses, like the stands, the textures were like flat, and that's I mean it's a small thing, but still. Um, I forget what game the fruit was that everybody's complaining about. It's just. They always find ways to complain about something about a game. And did you get permission? No, he's dead. I can't get his permission. He can't give it to me. Oh, there it goes. There are a lot of... Mo oh, there's going to be more monsters that pop up. So I literally... I'm going to have to follow this as it goes, so i got to pay attention. Yeah, it, uh, Alejandro, it was the dumbest complaint on Twitter. It's just I don't understand... Well, I mean, I do because the internet likes to complain about everything, but, like, I just, I don't know. It, it's just the, the, the most, like, oh, I don't know. There's just so much, I mean, if you're going to complain, there's so many, like, other things to complain about that actually matter, you know? But if you're going to complain about a boat animation being the same in a game, it's like, okay, like, let's... 
can we just focus on the important issues here? Like, nope. Okay, not allowed. Oh, wait. I hit that. I hit that back. Okay. No. There we go. That is a good horizontal slash right there. I think what I have to do is open the doors in time. That is a loud motorcycle. Holy crap. I need to essentially open the... The doors in time so that... They can actually get through. There we go. We're making it work. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, oh, I'm gonna have to guide it all the way to the center, aren't I? The trick is to kill those electrical goblins as soon as they, like, come alive. Wait. No, 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 no. No, like, up, no, 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 go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, no, good, okay, okay. I was worried that I had to time it exactly. That's what I was worried about. That's good. It looks like I actually don't have to do that. That is actually good. I have to make it across these platforms in time, but, like, that's not a huge deal. It was really just, I thought I had to press the switches in time in order, because otherwise, I don't know, it would, like, crash and break into the door or something. I don't know. How did I reach him? I'm genuinely surprised I actually reached that guy. Okay, cool. Um, okay, here's... How... What? Excuse me? Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, where the hell am I supposed to go from there? I was so confused. You know, I was kind of, I was kind of thinking about this earlier, and granted, I could have just like, it's probably something I'll think about later. Um, ooh, this is scary. No, 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 no. Phew. That was scary. Um, I was thinking about this earlier, but like, and I'm sure it's gonna come up in a week because we have that, uh, that Smash Brothers event supposedly happening. Um, in a week or so, right? Um, oh, can I make it? Whew, close. Um, where they're, they're gonna finally announce that final Smash Brothers character in just, I gotta wait for it now. And, uh, just, uh, just a little over a week. I honestly, at this point, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I love Smash Brothers, and, like, it's always gonna be something very special to me, because I've always kind of, um been really like into like that kind of not not the speculation because like if you get too involved in the speculation it just becomes like i don't know it just it, it gets to a point where it becomes disappointing if you don't get the the characters that you want um there we go that is a claw shot target you know but like um i was kind of it's, it's it's smash has always been pretty close to me like that's always something that i've really gotten excited about um i'm at the point though like especially with recent um just in the last year where it's like, I kind of don't even care who gets, well, okay, I, sh I should clarify. I do care who gets added, but like, mainly, um, that's the funny thing, is that like, before, like a few months ago, if you had asked me who I would have wanted the most in Smash Brothers, I would have said Crash Bandicoot. Because he was just, I mean, I got K. Rule when they announced K. Rule for the base roster bag like three years ago. Um, and then, obviously, two years ago, we got Banjo as part of the DLC, and that was awesome. And, like, that was my next character. And then... Oh, really? You play, stopped playing a long time ago? I'm curious what the last uh, Smash Brothers game you played. Were you kind of into Melee and then dropped off after that? I don't blame you if you stopped after Melee, because Brawl... Brawl is my first Smash Brothers game, and, like... I have a little bit of a soft spot for it, but it's so slow and floaty that, like... To be honest, it's hard for me to go back to, especially the multiplayer. I'll go back for Subspace Emissary, but that's about it. Um, otherwise, the rest of it, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little, it's pretty floaty and slow. Oh, I gotta whip this shit, this switch. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this would be a little annoying if, uh... What? There we go. Um, but yeah, it's like, at, at this point, I don't even kind of care who gets added in, except for, like, I honestly, I legitimately don't want Crash anymore, because I, I don't want any Activision character, because I don't want Activision making any money off of Smash Brothers, especially, I, I love Smash Brothers, they shouldn't be making any, any profits off of that game, um, because they are a terrible company, I'm not going to go into the details about what's been going on, I'm sure those of you who have, you know, if you follow, if you, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, ooh, that's a whip thing. Okay, hold on. No, please, Link, get, the, get up the button. No, 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 Link, oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead because he took the bug net out. Okay, I don't even know how I got the bug net out. Um, so yeah, I really don't want to crash at this point. As much as it, like... It's, I don't know how I would react if it was Crash or Spyro, even, because, like, I love those characters, but, like, just knowing that it'd be Activision who would make, like, some amount of, they must make some amount of royalties, these third parties, off of these characters. Hi, can we, uh, horizontally slash? Thank you. Um, so, I, I don't want that. I really don't want them to make any profits off of that, so... I, I mean, I'd be excited for the characters, sure, but I'd also just be like, this sucks, like... Activision shouldn't be making any money off this. I don't want their name on Smash Brothers, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I also don't want Jonesy from Fortnite or whatever the... I don't know, whatever people are saying about the Fortnite kid. Like, get the... No. Like, we're not gonna have any Fortnite characters in this game, I swear. There we go. Now that, that guy's dead early, that'll give me time to actually do this. How did I jump, like, reverse there? I'm so confused. Nope. I have no idea how I did that. But I did. And I don't... I, I'm not even going to question it. There we go. I'm about to somehow reverse. I just don't know how. Um, but yeah, so I honestly... I kind of don't care anymore who it is. Like, as long as it's not, like an Activision character, as long as it's, um... These things are super loud, what the heck? As long as it's, yeah, not an Activision character, and, like, not a Fortnite character, I'd probably be good, you know? You want an Alucard from Castlevania, and a new Castlevania, oh, that would be so great. I mean, the only, there, there are no rules, there really are no rules, to be honest. Um, but, I mean... Alucard is already an assist trophy, so that doesn't... I feel like it doesn't really help his chances. I can just whip the switch. I don't need to go... Oh, I do need to go around. Okay, rats. Am I going to be able to make it up? Please? There we go. Come on. Get the fruit. There we go. Perfect! Yeah, I mean, he is an assist trophy already, so I mean, I feel like that might lower his chances a bit, but you never know. Um, I would, I would love to get more Castlevania music on, uh, in Smash Brothers. That would be awesome. Hi, let's, uh, not do that. Let's do a horizontal slash and take him out. Get out of my way. No! Oh, no, these stupid guys. How do I take him out? I remember how to take him out. No, rats. Oh, uh, this is not good. I don't like this. Oh, stop. Stop it. Hi. Horizontal slash. Let's go. You got this. There we go. There we go. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. Turn around. Turn around. It's okay. There you go. You're dead. I forget how I took those guys out last time. I somehow did it, but it doesn't matter because he's dead now. Get out of here. Um, Castlevania would be great. I I'm curious. Are you getting the, uh, the Castlevania uh, Advanced Collection on Switch? I'm definitely going to get it at some point. I just don't know if I want to spend the $20 on it right now, so I might wait for a sale. Um, I have the... I did end up buying the Anniversary Collection on Switch, like, earlier this year. It was on sale for, like, 5 bucks. I was like, oh, yeah, that's 100% worth it. Um, I'm curious if you got the Advanced Collection, though. It looks really good, and I've heard really good things about some of those games. Um, yeah, a new Castlevania on Switch especially would be great, Alejandro. I completely agree. That would be really cool to see. I need to play more Castlevania games. I was actually considering possibly streaming. I was thinking I might do Super Castlevania 4 for Halloween. If I have time. I mean, obviously, Metroid Dread's going to come first. And that's kind of like... That's essentially my Halloween game, if you will. You know, it's a stressful game. It's a creepy game. It's a game that puts you on edge, as far as we can tell. And that's... I mean, that's super exciting. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta I gotta <laughs> blow these up. Nope. I need the beetle. There we go. Um, but yeah, so that, that's, that's the thing. But that would be really cool to see. Alucard. I'd be so down for Alucard, honestly, if they did. Um, especially after watching the... I, I love the Netflix show. That I, I've watched all the Netflix show, and that was a great show. You already... Oh, you already beat Circle the Moon on the Advanced Collection? Nice. I've heard really good things about it. Um, 
And I really, I really want to try out that collection one of these days. I've heard really good things about um, Ari, of, Ari of Sorrow as well. And like, I think that, that I'm pretty sure that's in the collection. Um, as well as, I'm curious if you know, I mean, I'm guessing you must, you must be a, a big Castlevania fan. Um, but like, I'm curious to know if, so there was that fourth game, Dracula X. From what I, I looked it up and apparently it's like, I think it said it was originally a Super Nintendo game. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. It was essentially kind of like Rondo of Blood, but like refactored. Is that, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it essentially like kind of like Rondo of Blood? Because I've heard really good things about Rondo of Blood, you know, with um, Richter being the main character in that game. Oh, he is not evil. Okay, we just revived him. But we're not going to fight him? Oh, I kind of wanted to fight him. He's foaming at the mouth a little bit, though. Hello, Lenebru. Oh, he's got... I, I like his beard he's got going on. Oh, hello. I have another visitor like you. I, I don't know why, but I was not expecting him to look as... old manish as he appears now. Not that, I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. He looks cool. I like his design a lot, but I was just not expecting it. I like how his beard is essentially clouds. So you're the link from the sky. How do you know about... Okay. Well, he must know about some kind of prophecy with Link, right? <laughs> wow. Elden, Elden said that Link was a good name. And Lene was just like, wow, Link's a shit name. How about I add a model number? Is he a nerd? Oh, Lene, oh, Lene was a, he's a, he's a computer nerd like us. <laughs> Let's go. He's one of the boys. Maybe LD Link 16. I love it. <laughs> Maybe. I think it's actually... This is Elon Musk. It's hundred percent. This is Lanayru is the Elon Musk of the Zelda universe, naming people like LD Link sixteen, Faron two six nine hashtag twenty five. You know all these random uh, numbers and names, just like Elon Musk named his kid. I still don't know how to pronounce his kid's name, by the way, and I don't want to learn. <laughs> I really don't. I'm not gonna make fun of his name, but I'm just gonna say like, I'm not even gonna try. If I ever meet his kid in person, I'm not. I'm just gonna be like, hey, you. Yes, you. Hello. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. I'm so sorry. But I don't know what they were thinking. Apparently, it actually has some super easy pronunciation, too, which I'd, I'd be curious to see how that works. But Didn't you just say you came from the sky? There we go. Putting it together, Lenebru. What? You can't help me. You may have enough strength for a brief chat, but... Oh, what? He can't... Do we... Oh, do we have to... So he's sick. Do we have to cure him somehow? I think it was the goddess herself who entrusted me with this important duty. So he's sick. But what can I do to make him not sick? They planted a seedling from the tree of life. Oh, okay, here we go. They planted a seedling from the tree of this. The fruit of this tree is said to be able to cure any illness. Over there. But it just won't grow. Hey, don't talk like that. Where is it? Oh, is that it over there? Yeah, it's out of the bridge. We planted a ceiling. Yeah. Trees don't grow so well around here. Right. Is that it over there? Yeah, that has to be it, right? That ceiling of the tree. Let me go see. I gotta, I gotta help him. Planted a so. I probably need some kind of water or something. Oh, and look, there's a goddess cube over there. Nice. Good, good, good. Am I gonna... I really hope I don't have to go back to Faron and get, like, that, um... The blessed water or whatever it was. Whatever that holy water stuff was. <laughs> Speaking of Castlevania, holy water. Yeah, whatever that holy water stuff was. And, uh... A lot of ants. Oh, am I gonna be able to reach that? Let me try. How in the world am I going to get up there? This game isn't going to let me hookshot onto trees, is it? No. How am I going to get over there? There's something in the wall over there, too. Oh, that's where I went before. Ah. Uh, there is a cave up there. I wonder if there's something in there that I can reach with the beetle. That looks a little suspicious. Clearly, I need to get. 
Oh yeah, there's gotta be something up here. I need to get a time shift zone over here somehow. Don't tell me it's just rupees. Oh, come on. Is it really just rupees? Is that really it? There's gotta be more. Come on. Rats, that's it. Okay. So how in the world... It looks like... Is that a time shift stone being covered up there? I don't... Because I, I don't have a way of getting out there, do I? Oh, wait. No, I can't. <laughs> I, like, I was like, I have no idea. I can't get up there. I swear, sometimes in this game, I swear I just, like, can't... There are some, like, platforms that I feel like I can't reach with Link, but then I forget that Link can kind of climb in this game. Obviously, not nearly to the extent of Breath of the Wild, but, like, sometimes, like, I feel like I can't, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's tough to gauge. It's too much of an in-between. Because normally, Link can't really climb anything in Zelda games, from what I remember. For the most part, he can climb, like, maybe, like, one level. Like, climb on top of a block or a platform, like, one level above him, but... In this game, you can actually kind of run up a little bit. You know? And I don't know. Alright, how do I grow this thing? The soil here is not suitable for growing trees. If only we had more time. Well, why don't you just... I don't know. Dig. Oh, do I need to plant this somewhere else? Wait a second. Right, but we need to grow the tree. Of course I'm going to help him. I fear growing the seedling to maturity and then Right, exactly. Do I have to bring it to the sealed grounds? Because remember, there was a spot of soil in the sealed grounds. That, like, I remember Bruce was saying something about taking care of it. or I don't, I, Something like that. It's got to be in Faron. It has to be in the Faron area. Maybe in Skyloft, possibly, but I doubt it. It's probably going to be in Faron. Oh, that time shift stone. I forgot activating a time shift stone deactivates the other one, so I got to go back and hit this. Um, but okay, there's a start. I definitely need to go to Faron. I'm pretty sure... I mean, I'm going to have to go back there anyways later to find the other... Uh, the dragon uh, goddess there and get that other part of the song. But, like, that's definitely where I need to plant that tree. I'll have to see if it's in the sealed ground spot I'm thinking of or not. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. That's for sure. I'm just, you know what? I'm. What? Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, well, if I hit. Okay. If I hit the. I'm just zone from here. I should be able to get over there. There we go. Come on. Activate that guy. I need to get over there. Um, I'm just kind of excited to be <laughs> hopefully finishing up with this game. I'm probably not going to be able to stream next weekend. I think I'm going to be busy pretty much every night next weekend. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to stream then. Um, but... Um, you know, obviously tonight, this week, I should be streaming two days, Tuesday and Thursday. And then the following Tuesday and Thursday, um, I should be able to stream as well. I think I need to go to Faron, so I'm going to go right to Faron right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, that still gives me, after this, another four streams. I'm definitely going to come close to beating Skyward Sword HD within that time. I don't know if I'll get there. If not, if it overlaps a little bit with Metroid Dread, then, like, that's fine with me. But Metroid Dread is going to become a priority because... I mean, if you haven't seen my uh, reaction to Metroid Dread, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't, let's just say I was freaking out a little bit, you know? It, it's, it's definitely, Metroid Dread is, a, is one of those, like, once-in-a-lifetime games. Not because, not necessarily because it's been, like, 20 years since, like, a brand new 2D Metroid game, but, like, also, it's also the fact that, you know, it was teased back in, I think, Metroid Prime 3 when they said, you know, Project Dread is almost complete. And then we didn't hear anything, like literally anything, since then. And then all of a sudden, it was never officially confirmed by Nintendo. And then all of a sudden, it showed up out of nowhere, like this past, like three months ago. Like, that is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, here we go. An unusual phenomenon. 
making it impossible to descend directly into them. Oh, so this is what's going on with um, Baron. Let me go to the sealed grounds, because maybe... So maybe it's not... Maybe you can't choose where you're supposed to go first. That's interesting. Been waiting for a Metroid since forever. I know, right? It's it's kind of crazy, to be honest. I mean, we had Samus Returns, the remake of Metroid 2, on 3DS four years ago. And that was a really good game. You know, that was when Mercury Steam first developed Metroid. And it wasn't a brand new Metroid, but they really... I feel like they really did Metroid 2 justice, because that was... I thought that was a pretty good game. They added a lot of new, cool stuff in there, too. Um, I, I was personally happy with how it came out. Can I get down here? Is it going to let me go in this door, or is it going to be stupid and lock me out again? No, okay, we're good. But yeah, in terms of a brand new 2D Metroid concept, I mean, even Metroid in general, it's been a while. Um, this spot, right? This soil here. Yeah, is this the spot? Yeah, there we go. Can you watch this for me? It's going to take you ages to grow this, get this thing to grow tall. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. No, I can't fast forward time here. If I go through that gated time, that goes into the past, right? Yeah, Fi, did you see me plant the tree? It's right there. In this, oh, wait, 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 wait. But hold on. Because I thought that, I thought going through the gated time, I thought that, Oh, she told me to take it out. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, I get it. I have to plant it in the past. Because I was like, how is that going to make sense? Okay, I have to plant it in the past and then have it... Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Time manipulation is going to cause some sort of paradox. Samus returns on 3D. I scratched my itch a little bit, but it was not enough. No, honestly, I kind of agree. It wasn't like... Um. Oh, I got to go in the other way. It was like, I mean... It, it, I mean, it was mostly, like, pretty much everything in Metroid 2. It was just, it was very constrained by the original designs of Metroid 2. Which, like, Metroid 2, the original on Game Boy, I'm not gonna lie, it's not a great game. Um, it's okay, but it's not, like, that great. I mean, to be honest, I actually might argue it's better than the NES Metroid, but that's, that's a tough call. Um, yeah, so if I plant this in the past, it was probably like, what the hell are you doing here? I'm like, I'm just planting trees, girl. Let me plant a tree. There we go, so now... If I go back into... Oh, okay. So now on this and this time, I got to pass with this side. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it, it was like, you know, I feel like now that Mercury Seam has like... Not, I don't want to say full control, because obviously, you know, Sakamoto and the entire team from Nintendo working with them on Metroid, they're obviously, you know, having a lot... Whoa, it's a big tree. Um, you know, obviously they're doing... A lot. They have. More, I feel like they just have more creative freedom because they're not constrained to the original design of Metroid 2. You know, so that's honestly going to be really good. Um, I'm just. It already. It looks amazing. Like I'm just. I feel like. I mean, I thought the SAX was pretty unsettling in Fusion, but like this looks like it's going to be on a whole other level, and that's what I'm super excited for. I'm just. I'm excited to really just. I'm not really, like, a horror game person myself, and I don't think this is going to be a horror game, but it's definitely going to be, like, something that keeps you on edge with all the Emmy robots running around, and it just, it looks great. It looks amazing. A couple of my friends, like, one of my friends who's a, friend who's a big Metroid fan, just honestly, just, for whatever reason, doesn't like the look of the game, and it's like, I guess I can see it, but at the same time, I don't know what he was expecting. I mean, I'm, the one thing I'm thinking is maybe he was expecting, like, still, like, a pixel art game, you know, instead of, like, the 2D, 3D approach they're going, but I think it looks really good. You know, I think Sam's, um, not Sam's Return, sorry. Well, Sam's Return is pretty solid for a 3DS game, but, um, Dr Metroid Dread, I just, I, I feel like it looks really good. It looked, like, the gameplay looks like a smooth 60, too, like... It just, it looks really nice. So I am very much looking forward to that. Not even, like, less than two weeks is the crazy part. Like, I am very excited for that game. It's probably going to end up being my game of the year, to be honest. Not that I've played too many games from this year specifically. Honestly, like, I don't, I don't really keep, like, keep up with many, like, current games. Like, I mean, does this even count? This is a, technically a 10-year-old game. Um, 
the only other one I really played from this year, I think, was Monster Hunter Rise. And even then, I played... You know, I'm curious. I want to check really quickly. Just quickly, I want to check. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's way less. I thought I had more. I only have, like, 25-plus hours. I thought I had more. Okay, I know that's not super accurate, the way they keep track of it in, this, in uh, the Switch, but, like, still. Like, besides... Like, it's, it's gonna be... Metroid Dread's gonna be my game of the year, already. Wasn't too sure about a 2.5D Metroid 2, but Samus Returns proved to me that... Yeah, exactly. Samus Returns, like, despite it being held back by the original design of... Oh, hold up, hold up. Wait. Why was that so different? What was up with the percussion there? That was super weird. I was gonna say, does it, like, the song change gradually as you, like, get through the game? Because I know some games do that. You know? I mean, one game that comes to mind is, like, Majora's Mask. Each progressive day, you know, in the three-day cycle, changes the song up. It gets more intense with each day. But I don't know what that was. I don't know why that was that random percussion that kicked in right there. That was interesting, but... Yeah, no, I mean, Samus Returns, yeah, like, it can be done, you know? It can be... It can look good. I will say the 2.5D style with some games just doesn't look great, but I think they're pulling it off with Metroid Dread. I honestly think they are. And, like, I mean, what matters most if the game's really fun, um, that's, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what matters the most, but, I mean, already, it looks like in the new abilities they're adding to, it just, it looks really good. Not gonna say any spoilers, because I do not. Um, I'm curious, Alejandro, have you watched any of the, uh, promotional material or anything for Dread? Um, or have you been trying to avoid spoilers? I might have asked you this on a previous stream. Sorry if I forgot. Um, but, like, I just... I haven't been able to avoid it. I'm just kind of going to go in with, like, whatever they've revealed. And kind of just go from there. Okay, hopefully this fruit helps this guy. This is the fruit of life. Until him. Oh, that's a big fruit. <laughs> How'd he carry that all the way? Oh, he's gonna toss it in. It's like a, uh, it's like a, sh um, not shot, but what am I trying to think of? The, there's some Olympic sport that's like that. Oh, <laughs> at first I thought he was just gonna like die right there for whatever reason. Oh, he's very energetic now. Holy crap. Look at him go! Okay, that's actually awesome. I love it. I like the dragons. The dragons are cool. Dragons are the best part about this game. Don't fight me. Nah, I'm just kidding. The, the, the dungeons are probably the best part about this game. You've seen a few, but trying to stay away from them. It's, it's honestly sometimes really tough. There was a big spoiler. I hope you didn't see it. But, like, kind of a spoiler. Not really. More like it would have been nice if they kept it as a surprise. That was in a previous trailer they dropped on social media. But they put it in the direct too, and I was like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, people who tried to avoid it before are probably gonna be pissed. Um, if they watched the the Metroid Dread segment in the Nintendo Direct, which was super weird, by the way, because pretty much everything we saw in the direct was already shown in previous social media posts. So I'm curious as to why they did that. It's almost like they wanted hardcore Nintendo fans who were already sold on Metroid Dread to see these spoilers and be like, here you go, here it is in the direct. Because, like, people who aren't Nintendo fans aren't going to really be watching the Direct necessarily, right? They'll be the ones who see it on social media. I'm still... I feel like they didn't need to show it at the Direct. Then again, I'm glad they didn't show anything really new at the Direct, which is good. Um, hopefully, I'm sure there's going to be more surprises, you know, as we go along. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Well, he looks all good now. He kind of looks like, uh, reminds me of Ampharos, the Pokemon, a little bit. Ampharos. I don't know if it's Am Ampharos, Ampharos. I don't even care with Pokemon pronunciation. I'm not even going to try. Allow me to perform. Yeah. The Song of the Hero. Okay, so maybe it was interesting why it wouldn't let me actually, like, get into Faron before, even when I was just trying to plant the sapling. Maybe it isn't, like, you can choose where to go. Maybe I just got lucky with Elden first. Um, but here we go. Oh, I'm sure he's got, like, a really nice bass voice. Link's taking it all in. Okay, that's pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm excited to hear what this song sounds like when all the pieces are together. I think Faron is my least favorite out of all the dragons. I'm not gonna lie, she was a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> Just a little bit. But there we go, there's another part of the song of the hero done. There we go. I owe you my life. And the next time you visit me... Interesting, so I can revisit Laneru at some point? And maybe there'll be something else I can do. Right, so now I, I should... Should is a keyword, be able to go to Faron. Yay, okay, good. Do I wanna? Yeah, you know what? I'll search for some more goddess cubes while I'm here. Why not? Might as well. This may this may be my last chance to go after goddess cubes, so. Let me see what I can find here. But otherwise, I should be good what time I got. Okay. I did start like a few minutes early, so I'm a little over an hour and I could do the other fair on part two. Okay. Yeah, there's let me let me search for some cubes here and then I'll go after the fair on area as well. I'm just curious why it wouldn't let me. Oh, oh, uh oh. I don't know why I was acting up there so much. I do, okay, I will say the stamina gauge is nice for also not even just climbing and running, but like speeding up certain actions like crawling or like uh, strafing along the edges or like climbing vines and stuff like that. It's super nice to have that option. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's in the desert. It's pointing me towards the desert. Okay. That's fair. Question is, where in the desert? Way over there. Way over there. Oh, is it going to bring me to the sand ship area? Or, ah, uh, no, that's not the sand ship area. It's not over there. So I think I'm good. Oh, I'm up here again. Oh, this place was annoying. Ah, okay. Was that the only goddess cube that's... Oh, no, there's another one over... Wait. I see one there. Ah, uh, looks like there's multiple. I see at least two. Then again, I don't know... Yeah, okay, looks like there's at least two. Ah! Hello, friend. Why don't I have my uh, shield, though? Where are you going? Hey! <laughs> Get out of there! Oh, wait. This doesn't go where I want to go, does it? Yeah, I wasn't supposed to go this way. Okay. See, now, is there a faster way I can get around here without, like... I have to go back around, don't I? Okay. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? Let me get my shield back out so I can actually do this. There we go. That's how we take out Octoroks. Oh, I, I want to remember too, I need a lot of tumbleweed actually if I want to upgrade some other items. So maybe I'll grab some tumbleweed while I'm here too. That doesn't count as a tumbleweed, right? That's just some some dead grass. What even is tumbleweed, actually? Is it literally just, like, a bunch of dead grass or weeds or... Why? Is that my Joy-Con? That did not look good. I did not like how that looked. Okay. Can I get up there? Oh, hold up. Yeah, why am I going this way? No. <laughs> That's gonna be a big waste of time. Let me go around here. I'll deal with more Octorox. I don't care. Get out of here. Oh, those stupid birds again. I hate those birds that carry the rocks in their mouths. I hate those guys. I think out of all, all three areas, I definitely like... Um, I'd say I like Laneru the most overall. Like, it's I feel like it's pretty consistent between the Laneru mining facility and the sand ship. I actually really liked. Um, oh, look, there's one right over there. How do I get over there? 
Do I actually need to be on top of that platform in order to get there? Because then, yeah, like, what's the easiest way to get over there? Or, oh, okay. I can, yeah, if I can just claw shot onto there, I'm good. Because, like, I will say, I mean, Ancient Cistern's probably my favorite dungeon in the game so far. Um, that was really good, especially, you know, with the Kalakos fight and everything. Um, but, like... Wow, my Joy-Con, I think, are drifting bad. That does not look great, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the one thing that really threw me off was just trying to aim with the uh, the dowsing ability there. It was really stuttery, and I don't know why. Okay, uh... Now nah, it looks okay now. Okay, so there looks like it's just that other one I need to get. Just that one guy right there. Is there any more? I don't see any others. Yeah, let me go after that other one. Well, like, yeah, Ancient System was good. Skyview Temple was, like, pretty solid. I mean, honestly... Okay, I really don't remember the Fire Sanctuary at all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that one seemed pretty forgettable to me. It's just not... Oh, that was the one with the plants and... Yeah, I think the Fire Sanctuary is probably... My least... Oh, there's the other one right over there. Um, I think the Fire Sanctuary is probably my least favorite dungeon in the game. I mean, it's between... Oh, I can get up there now. Nice. I don't know what's in there, but I can get up there now. That's good. I forgot about this chest that's just been sitting up here forever, and I just never... How did I not go after it before? Like, last time I was... Didn't I get the claw shots in Lenever? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, Death's Relic. Cool. Um... But yeah, Fire Sanctuary, either between that or the Earth. The, the Elden Dungeons, I didn't think were that great. Um, can I go that way? I wonder if I can get it from the... Oh, I don't like that. I hate the electric one so much. I wonder if I can reach it from here. I'm going to guess no. Nah, okay. What's my favorite Zelda game? I'm gonna have okay. Well, I'm definitely more a fan of the 3D ones. I will say. Um, oh no, not the stupid bird again. I gotta go around for this. I think it's the only way to get around there. Um, but my favorite. I mean, I, I prefer the 3D ones. My favorite is Majora's Mask. I just. Or it was funny because originally, so I've only been playing Zelda games for maybe like six, seven, maybe eight years. That's like the most though. Like I. A lot of Nintendo console games I literally haven't been playing for that long. Um, the first... So, I mean, technically the first Zelda game I played was uh, Four Swords, like the, the anniversary edition on DSi, where I got the first, they, they gave it out for free, and I was like, yeah, I'll try it, why not? And I, I enjoyed that. Um, but then my first 3D game after that was Ocarina of Time, and I played the original version. That was on... So I technically played it through... Um, do I have to go that way? Yeah, because I gotta go around. Um, I technically played that through the Zelda Collector's Edition on the GameCube, which was like, I think it was a Club Nintendo reward back in the day. And I loved Ocarina of Time when I played through that. I think I was just burnt down on 3D Zelda at that point, so when I got to Majora's Mask right after, I was just like, yeah, it's okay. But this this is kind of a, this is somewhat of an unpopular opinion, but when I played the 3DS remakes of those games, I absolutely loved Majora's Mask, especially the style, the side quests that are made much easier by the Bomber's Notebook in that game. Um, I just, I don't know, I just, I fell in love with that game. Ocarina of Time is still up there for me too, but like Majora's Mask just hit me on another level at that point. Um, okay, here we go, this is how it gets right. But yeah, so Majora's my favorite. I'd say it probably goes Maj for, I mean the 3D ones mainly. I'm not as big of a fan of the 2D Zelda games, but it, um, my favorite 2D Zelda games probably Link's Awakening. Although, actually, no. Link Between Worlds is really good. Link Between Worlds is not talked about enough. That is a really good 2D Zelda game. Uh, but Link's Awakening is also really good. I feel like I need to go back and replay Link to the Past because, like, I haven't for a while, and I feel like I need to give that game the chance it really deserves. But in terms of the 3D games for me, it's ranked uh, Majora's Mask, then probably Ocarina. Um, the other three, I'm still kind of, like... I mean, I'm still not even done with this game yet. Breath of the Wild, I don't even count because, like, it's its own category. It really is its own thing. So I don't even kind of count that in the rankings, honestly. Um, 
But Twilight Princess Wind Waker in this game, I'm still figuring out how I rank them. But Majora's Mask is my favorite. I'm curious, what's yours, Alejandro? If you're more, do you prefer the 2D ones or you like the 3D games? I can definitely understand why, why you know, people would like the 2D ones more than the 3Ds. I will say the 3D ones are definitely longer. And as a result, like, for example, I'm finding out streaming this game, like, this is already part 18. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's a long game. I was not expecting this game to be this long. Um, by the time I'm done, it's probably gonna be like 50 hours at this rate. Oh, tumbleweed, tumbleweed, tumbleweed. Get in my net. Let me get to, are there any other tumbleweeds? If I see any tumbleweeds, I'm gonna grab them. Otherwise, I think I'm good to head to Faron. Are there any more tumbling weeds? I don't see any. Okay, yeah, I'll just head back. I do want to get the fair on part done tonight, too. Oh, really? Okay. Your favorite's A Link to the Past. Yeah, no, I know a lot of people have... I've heard a lot of opinions that A Link to the Past is people's favorite. Um, and I can see why. It's very... When I, I remember, it's been a while since I've played it, but I remember it being a very... A, a pretty well-paced game, I will say. Very concise and just, like, all the dungeons were... You know, they, they, uh, one one issue with some of the 3D Zelda games I find is that there are, a, like, a lot of, like, not as memorable dungeons. But I feel like just because, from what I remember, Link to the Past is such, like, a clean, cut, concise game. Um, I just remember them it, it feeling like a pretty good pace overall. And some of the items were cool, too. You know, that I kind of wish they'd bring back. Like, I think there was, like, the... I think it was called the Cane of Samaria or something like that. There was a, the cane that could, like, let you create platforms and stuff like that. Like, that sounds kind of cool, you know? They had some interesting ideas for items in that game. Um, and, I mean, the map was a significant improvement over the original NES Zelda. Um, I got, like I said, I gotta go back and replay that at some point. Um, but, it's, it's interesting to hear you agree on Majora's Mask, because, like, from what I've heard from a lot of people, it's like, no, everybody says Ocarina of Time's the best, but, like, Ocarina of Time, just, like, there are so many open, empty areas, I've noticed. I noticed that when replaying the 3DS remake, is, like, there's so many open, empty areas, whereas Majora's Mask, uh, it fills in those areas with, like, side quests to do and NPCs and characters and stuff like that. It just, it feels more like a cohesive world. It's definitely smaller than Hyrule in Ocarina of Time, but, like, I think that's for the best, honestly. Okay, so it's doing this again. But this is where I need to go, right? But I can go to the sealed ground, so maybe I just can't land directly into Faron Woods. Let me go behind the temple. Let me see what's over here. Yeah, let's go over here. I don't remember where this bird statue is, to be honest. Oh, okay, this is good. I want to be here. Alright. So now the question is... Why is this door not open? There's something going on, and the issue, the, the question is, why can't I get into, why can't I go into Farron Woods? Is that Gorko up there? Maybe Gorko knows something about what's going on. What's up, Gorko? You've seen Blessed Butter, oh, is that, is that all you're gonna tell me, Gorko? Yeah, we've, we've, we've mentioned that before, okay. Got nothing new to say, okay. Can I really not go in? That's bizarre. Do I have to go into the sealed grounds? Maybe, like, the ancient one's gonna be like, yo, you can't go there. And I'm gonna be like, why the hell can't I go there? You need to find the, the dragon in there. There's something going- I just- I can't go in there for whatever reason. Hello, do you have something to tell me? What's going on? The old one. You seek the dragons. Then take care and be on your way. Great, I would be on my way, but I can't go in there. <laughs> Where'd Goose go? Goose was here before. Unless I'm supposed to go into the past. That's the only thing I can think of. Otherwise, I have no idea. Or something's happening on Skyloft, and I'm supposed to go to Skyloft. What happens when I go to the past? It's not going to let me leave the... Uh... It's not going to let me leave here, right? Like, leave the uh, the sealed grounds, the... This area before? No. Okay. What's up, Impa? Yeah, I know they're locked doors. There's no way I'm getting out. No way I'm getting out. What's up, Impa? Hey. 
the old one and Impa have to be the same person. Okay, you know, it'd be great. I would love to fulfill my destiny, but I can't leave. Yeah, and it's not going to let me go out there. I was kind of hoping it would let me explore some of the past areas, but it doesn't look like it is, so... Okay. I don't know how am I supposed to get into the Faron Woods area from here. The only thing I can think of is that I have to go back to Skyloft for some reason. It's the only thing I can think of. Unless there's something happening there. No. Hmm. That's just so weird. I don't think there wouldn't be anything at the sealed grounds or the yeah, the outside area over there I'd have to trigger, I don't think. But like the one way to get into Faron Woods just completely blocked off. Like I can't even get in there. The door was closed. I'm guessing the gossip zone has nothing to say. Yeah, it's pretty much I've known that for a while. <laughs> Yeah, because normally this would be open, but I just, I can't get in there now. Huh. Very interesting. And that just goes back to the sealed grounds. Let me just see really quickly if anything, like, happens out here. Otherwise, I mean, do I go back to Skyloft? Do I have to, I don't know what I have to do to get around that. I'm stumped. There's nothing out here, right? Oh, wait. Oh, is Gru's gonna do something? What? Is it already time for the third imprisoned fight? Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I knew it was coming eventually. It just seems a lot sooner now than later. Yeah, he's coming back. Alright, come on. Get out of there. Let's just kick his ass quickly and get this over with. Oh, yeah. Gruus, get the Grusinator ready to go. <laughs> Gruus reminds me of, like, an actually, like... If if Gaston in Beauty and the Beast turned a new leaf and actually became a good guy, that would be Gruus. I love him. This is your purpose, Gruus. Gruus found his purpose in life. It's an important purpose to have. He's got to defend the sealed grounds. It's super important. Otherwise, Zelda's literally screwed. Alright, let's go. Let's get it over with. According to Sloshical, I think it was a couple streams ago. It wasn't last stream, right? No, I don't think it was last stream, right? I don't know. Um, this third fight gets a little intense. Not necessarily difficult, but a little intimidating. So let me see what this has to offer. Alright. Show yourself, demon! Oh, he's a tall boy now. Well, you had arms last time, so that doesn't look any different. This is probably one of my least favorite parts about this game. Is the fact that it's literally like... You, fuck, you fight this stupid guy three times. <laughs> you were getting tired of waiting. There we go. That's a good outlook on it. Something's gotta be different, though. Ah, no. Shit. Oh, come on. Don't even with me. How did that hit me? Explain to me, good sir, how that hit me. Oh, should I hit the guy with, uh... You know, I guess I will hit, a, hit him with a bomb. He's not climbing up any platforms right now, but I'll knock him out for a bit. Yeah, because you know what? That'll stun him so I can actually attack his toes now, right? That'll buy me a little bit of time. Yeah. How in the world? No. See, I just don't like how... It's the, it's these shockwaves here that really annoy me, because what... Like that, like literally... I don't know how you're supposed to stay far away enough. This is gonna end ter- Ugh, can I shoot him with an arrow or something? Like, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm, I'm gonna miss if I try that. 
Run, 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 run! Okay. God damn it. Groose, get him. I am already screwing this up so bad. I could also use a potion, that'd be nice. But I really need to take his toes out, because I need to knock him over. Come on, come on, I can't even see! Ugh. Okay. Bye, don't even talk to me about having low health. I am away. There we go, got a toe of his there. Oh, so once his toes are gone, he doesn't do the shockwaves anymore. That's nice, at least. I am low on... Uh, there we go. Okay. Let me wait. Dark! There we go. Knock this guy down. Knock this goon down. And now I have to be careful, because... Like... The way I have to hit, like, I have to hit the little pedestal on his head specifically, like, in a specific way. He's already halfway up the mountain. Oh, oh that's great. Okay. There we go. There we go, that's good. Don't even think about climbing up. Don't even think about climbing up. I wonder if I can jump on him from above, actually. That's going to save a hell of a lot of time. What the heck is happening here? What is that? Uh, that's not good. He can fly now? Yeah, Bruce, take it out now. That thing just grows wings? What? Oh, he's falling. Bye bye. Oh, thank goodness. He falls all the way back down. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, let me get him. Can I reach his head from here? There you are. Hey, buddy. Oh, please, come on. Come on, no, 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 come on. Get more. No, no, no. Link. There we go. Come on, one more. There we go. It's just really annoying. You have to, like... I think you have to, like arc it upwards, like a little curve like that. That's what I have to do here. Okay, I'm thinking one more set and he's good? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, he's flying again. Is this really all it's gonna be? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rats, okay, I gotta get up. I gotta go. Go, 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 go. I gotta help Bruce. I'm coming, Bruce. Okay, where actually is Groose relative to here? I gotta go closer to here. That guy is flying up and we gotta get that bomb out of the way. Where are you? Where the hell is he? I don't even know where Groose is! Groose, where are you, man? Are you up here? Shit, I don't know where Groose is. <laughs> Groose! Oh, there you are. Yeah, over here. You get, Groose, we gotta blow up the- we gotta bomb it. Come on. What are you doing? Where are you, Groose? What? Oh, no. I've got to get up. Is he going to launch me? Oh, hold up. Put me in. <laughs> Put me in the catapult. It's, this is another Wind Waker situation. Let's go. Straight for the spike on his head. Okay. Ready? Fire! Yeah! Okay, that was that was awesome. I'm not gonna lie. That final part was really funny. Just right onto the head. That looked I mean, that looked a lot less painful than the Wind Waker situation where they literally launched Link. Actually, they launch him out of a cannon on Tetra's pirate ship, don't they? Or I think he's in a barrel. They put him in a barrel and they launch him over, but still, either way it's funny. See, I was wondering why. I was like, oh, you can't go to Faron, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, why, though? And like, okay. Okay, they're making me fight the Imprisoned again. I see. But I think that's the final fight against the Imprisoned. I will admit, that one was a lot better than the second one. The second one was stupid. Just, it was actually, it was really tough. I got super close that time. Um, let's put the seal in. I think this is the last time. So hopefully that'll keep the imprisoned in at least for now. 
That would be nice. Thank you. Stay in there. Oh, right. I have to draw again, don't I? Seal him in. There we go. Extra strong seal. That should hopefully keep him in the ground for a little bit. At least for now. Oh, that was kind of, that was cool, not gonna lie. That fight was definitely a little better than the last one, I will say. The second the second imprisoned fight is just it was actually kinda of tough. This one, I mean this one definitely got me a little nervous, but like <laughs> it wasn't too too bad. To uh, and that last part of launching Link off the catapult was really funny. I thought we were gone as I thought so too, Groose, but like it's okay. Teamwork is what triumphs in the end. No one can stop the superpower of teamwork. There's my, uh, <laughs> there's my, 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 uh, stream quota of, of mentioning something related to Sonic. Cool. Okay, well, that should at least, I'm guessing now it'll actually let me explore Faron, right? That was probably the event that happened that was just preventing me from going anywhere. So that's done. Um, what am I at? 8.30. I still want to see, it's a little close, but I want to see if I can get to the Faron dragon now still. If not, I'll just have to do it next time, but I feel like I can probably do it now. The beach has been sealed for a third time. Yes, it has. You can't dwell on your success. The strength of the seal seems to wane. Yeah, it's like it's almost like it's getting faster and faster each time it breaks the seal. So, yeah, exactly. I am close, actually. I just need the one Pharaon dragon left. The Farron Woods are close by. Unfortunately, there's been an unusual turn of events in the woods. Oh, so maybe it's not the same event? Blooded. Uh-oh. You clo- Oh! So that's why the gates close, because it's flooded. The sea will only hold as long as the gates remain closed. So yeah, Link can't go- Okay. <laughs> Oh, is Groose going to launch Link out of the Groosinator? How <laughs> about other ways to use the Groosinator? <laughs> you should call it the Anti-Linkinator. You can just get rid of Link anytime you want. Just chuck him off to the other side of the map. <laughs> yeah, that's the best option we got, Groose. Sounds good to me. I will admit, Groose has definitely become super helpful, though. I will say. <laughs> I wish he was soft landing. Yeah, me too. Me too, not Impa. Me too. It's literally... Can I just call her Impa? It's it's 100% Impa. It just straight up is. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm gonna get myself launched out of a catapult. Gotta do what you get sometimes. There's only one path in life, or there's one choice you have to make ahead of you, you just gotta go for it. Okay, so in terms of goddess cubes, it looks like there's one over there. I'm just gonna see how far... I don't want the stream going over two hours, like, too much, but, like, it's a Zelda game. A little bit here and there in bed. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Groose. Let's worry about the landing. Yeah. Yeah. I should worry about the landing, huh? All aboard Groose Airways. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, wow, they were they were serious about that. Good thing there's water that Link can dive into. That's not how physics works, but Wow, that's super flooded. What the heck happened here? Yeah, this is way different. Holy crap. Lanayer was like the the area that had been the least changed. Because Elden was completely taken over by the goblins, and now this is just super flooded. What the heck? Wow. Oh, I have a marker here. Look at that. Look at that. Get out of here. Let me see what the Elder Kikui has to say. He's probably like, well, we fucked up. What happened, my dude? <laughs> oh, you. Hmm. <laughs> Is Link the reason why this is all flooded? Yeah, what's up with the water here? Looks a bit different here. Gushing out of the base of the tree behind me. 
the base of the tree, but that was... I explored that, like, way back when, and there wasn't much water in there. Clear out the monster infestation. That's true. But it's also, like... Ah, the, all the monsters are chilling over there. Okay, so I have to get back. I wonder... I probably have to re-explore the Deku tree, huh? You know what I'd be curious to see is if, um... It's not like someone's nightmare of, like, you know, like... Just, like, having an entire area flood. Like, this is a ton of water. The Great Tree's roots. Right, so am I gonna have to dive under there, essentially? Oh, right, that goddess cube. I forgot about that one. There's a few in Pharaon I still need to get, it looks like. Okay, interesting. I'm probably not gonna be able to get any of them with, uh... The water like this but okay i think am i gonna be able to make it oh there's some air bubbles good because what i need to do i know exactly where i'm supposed to go i need to go back under the the tree i'm glad there's bubbles here at least thank you definitely would prefer some air yeah because i need to go back under here i'm pretty sure i will say the diving controls it's a little awkward for me at least to like point my right joy-con downwards just to uh you know kind of swim down like angle myself downwards it's a little it's a little difficult more like it's just awkward how did i miss that guy okay sure oh hello one of these guys is in here hello oh Pirelli. oh aren't they all called Perella? the woods have been flooded yeah i can see that Yes, I, I can see. <laughs> There's lots of water everywhere, but thank you for alerting me to the situation. Um, more air would be nice. There we go. Yeah, at least some of the monsters seem to be, you know, kind of dispersing just because they, they can't go anywhere with the water, at least. I don't, were there any, like, water monsters that I had to fight before? I don't think so, right? Okay, well, I can go up here. This area... Yeah, okay, I remember this area. It's a human! Uh, okay. Okay, if you say so, I won't go through. Let me go this way instead. Oh! Something's gonna happen. What I wanna know is, why did the water just flood? How did this happen? Oh, there's the Pharaon dragon. Wait. Imagine she's evil. Imagine we have to fight her and she flooded the woods for whatever reason. Like, she's corrupted by something. Something's off about her. See, I, I told you she was kind of a bitch. You remember me. Helped me recover from my injury some time ago. Why did you- okay, did she flood the woods? Why the hell did you flood these woods? You swam all the way here to try to get me to teach you the part of the song. Yes, so do it. <laughs> Giving away. She literally just said that I'm, like, that Link is the hero, the chosen hero. Demise is literally going to kill everybody if you don't give me the part of the song. Don't, what are you doing? A final test. What is a final test? Unflood the forest. Oh, so she flooded because of the... Mo That's a little selfish, I'm not gonna lie. Did she not think of everything else in the woods? If you're up to completing the task I ask of you, I see no reason why I shouldn't reward you. And get rid of the water. Please? You don't need this to be flooded. What the heck is that? I swear, if it's another trial like in the Silent Realm, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> So what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to get all those little pieces of whatever those are? Do I have to swim through and get all those? Hey, Slosh Claws, it going? 
Hey, no worries. I mean, it was kind of, it was a little last minute that I announced I was streaming, so no worries at all. How have you been doing? I'm just about to do this trial that, what? Take this score and collect all my little musical. That seems like a lot of things to collect. You can use the score. Oh, this is the Tad Tones. I've heard some really weird things about this. I've heard some really weird things about the Tad Tones here. Okay. I gotta see how this actually works. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna probably end the stream after this logical. Sorry, I've already been streaming for a little bit, but hey, I'm glad you could join for a little bit at the end. This is probably the fun part. This is where the fun begins. I just did the uh, the Thunder Dragon Lanebru part earlier. Um, last stream I did Elden, so now I'm on to Faron. This should be the last one. Okay, so I have to find... Right, I've heard of the Tad Tones, and like I think they're kind of annoying to do. Is this the first dragon? No, this is the last dragon I'm doing, actually. I started with Elden, yeah, and then... Um, this trial's annoying but easy. Okay, well that's good at least. Do I just have to essentially... Oh! Do I just essentially have to collect all those little pieces that she scattered around? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because they all kind of went into the water in different areas, so I'm guessing that's what I need to do. I don't think I need to go up here, but I just want to see in case I have to. Oh, more grasshoppers. Hello. Oh, there's a little relic up here. Nice. Okay, so I need to find... Oh, I see. There's some over there. Okay, so I probably have to go over there. Yeah, it's, this honestly reminds me of, like, um... The frogs in, like, Majora's Mask. Um, where there was... You know, you know what? Not even, like, the frogs in Majora's Mask. There was the thing in the Great Bay Temple that you could do. Yeah, I, I just did the Lanebu Dragon earlier in the stream, actually. It was just, like, an hour ago. Um, that one was pretty good. I am collecting Tadtones, Perilla. Some tad tones hang on groups. You have to, you have to catch those similar tad tones, one right after the other, or they'll swim out of your score. Oh, so what? I have to swim and catch the tad tones? That's your best bet. So like these are all in a group. So what? I have to catch them all somehow? Look at that thick butt. Yeah, I guess I have to, like, just swim into them. Okay, let's see how this works. I'm curious. There's some more down there, it looks like. Oh, there we go, like that. Okay. So that's the final... So I just have to collect all the pieces of the song. Right? I guess that's all I have to really do. How far below the surface are they? Okay, I see some over there. Let me go over there. That's not a tad tone, right? Ah, uh, actually, no. I think it is. Okay, interesting. Come to me, my friend. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I should have done a spin move. Oh well, didn't think of that. Okay. I know. I would like some air. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Link. Come on. Come on, Link. Come on. Get the air. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I gotta go to the top. <laughs> Make it, Link. Go, Link. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's one over there. So it looks like, yeah, I have to... There are some in groups, it looks like. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I have to jump off the tree to flip that lily pad. That's going to be annoying. This is going to take a little while. Okay. Okay. This is going to be fun. I can see, Slotchka, what you mean by this being kind of annoying. Okay, you ready? What? Oh, okay, good. I got the last one. I was, I was like, what did I miss it at first? Hey, 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 hey. Get out of my way. Hello. You have something else? You have a little tip for me, too? They get along with everybody. You can usually find them where other fish are swimming. Right, so I essentially have to... Oh, there's one in there. No, nope. hey, hey, hey. I don't want to talk to you. I've already talked to you, Perella. You're all named Perella, okay? So stop. Okay, so then all these little ones I gotta get in here, too. Just gotta avoid these spiky things. What the? 
Wait a second. I Oh, I have to literally have to get these all in a row? Really? Oh, that's annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little annoying. Okay. There we go. I got the red guy. There's the first one. Ah, uh, no, you know what? I gotta go after these air bubbles. This is my only hope here. Don't link not to the side. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell if it's the Joy-Con or I'm just literally moving in and just, um, uncalibrating and getting really annoying. I don't even know. You were too fixated on Age of Calamity news. Forgot you were streaming. Wait, was there more Age of Calamity news besides the Direct? They talk about stuff recently? No, no worries, Sloshkull. No worries about missing a part of it. I mean, you know the nice thing about, uh youtube is that like you know you can kind of if you want to you can go back and like watch um oh i see what i have to do oh no i'm gonna miss it go 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 get it get the big boy yeah i had that come on i had that um also apparently i used a no no word as my last post didn't go through oh really oh that's it Sometimes, okay, I don't even know how YouTube chat works, because I don't have, like, anything blocked in terms of, like, speech or anything. Like, I think it blocks some of the stuff automatically, but, like, usually it'll say, if you put, some, like, a no-no word in there, usually it'll say, like, redacted or something. I literally have to hit these all in, like, perfect order. Okay. Does touching them give me oxygen, too? I guess that's good. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. These swimming controls are not ideal. Especially for tight swimming, like precision, like this. I am not liking it that much. Okay, come on. To the side. No. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta go back around. Gotta bring it around town. This guy in the end's giving me too much trouble. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, so it looks like all the ones that are kind of together like that I have to get in a set. Those look toxic. I'm not gonna go over there. Unless that's a... No, it's not a Tatum. That's a... One of those Dusk Relics, which I really don't care about right now. You check the main website and just confirm... Oh, it confirmed a new stage? One place I really wanted to see pre-Calamity. Ooh, that's awesome. Don't, uh... I'm probably just gonna go in, like, spoiler-free into, uh... Oh, come on. Gamma, come to me. Come to Link. Hello! Oh, now I need air. Okay, but I got I got that. It's all good. Um, I really need air. But yeah, don't tell me what it is, Lost because I'm curious. I'm I'm probably gonna stream pack two, honestly. I streamed pack one, like, what, three months ago? I think it was like three months ago it came out. Um I think I'm gonna stream pack one, because honestly, pack two from what they showed looks a lot more interesting than pack one pack one was good and i liked the new weapons and stuff they added but like pack two looks like wave two looks like a whole other level um apparently there's another care they said there's two characters and i think correct me if i'm wrong slash i think one of them is robbie and pura as a tag team which they showed off in the direct obviously but i think they said there's another character that's separate so that's interesting to see we have three maybe wow Three or four confirmed new stages? Wow, okay. I didn't even know which ones we saw in the trailer. So that's honestly awesome to see. Um, I can't wait to figure out... Oh, I thought I almost... I thought I missed that guy for a second. No, no, please. There we go. Okay. I thought I... Uh, yeah, I didn't even realize that we saw them earlier on. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Look at how fast they go. I'm going to have to get them from the other side, I think. Oh, and there's so many of them. Why are there so many tad tones? <laughs> oh man. This is gonna get annoying. It'd be nice if I could douse for tad tones, but then again, I don't know how I would get to them. Is it just one or are there multiple here? Oh, it's a couple. There we go. Oh no, not the sharks. I don't like those. It's exactly like. Yeah, exactly. Sloshkull, I was thinking the exact same thing because. Wave 2 of Breath of the Wild DLC, right, you're exactly right. It was um, more story-focused, so now we're getting a lot more story with new cutscenes. I would love if they actually did something with Aster, or Astor, however you pronounce it. I would love, because he just he kind of just kind of fell off in uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, sorry, Age of Calamity, I'm not going to lie. 
Um, so that's awesome to hear. It sounds like it's going to be good. And that comes out, I thought they originally said November back in E3, and now they're saying October, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> I hope I have time after Metroid Dread. Um, yeah, Brew and Robbie are, are a duo character, and one more we don't know of. I'm wondering if it's going to be Suga. Part of me wonders if it'd be Suga. It could be Astor, too. Is that one of the sharks? Because they're right behind me, and that's terrifying. Um... However, I'm pretty sure my spin move takes them out, so maybe I'll be fine. Uh, um, honestly, I feel like... A I mean, Astor would probably be a more interesting character than... Uh... I really gotta be fast about this, huh? Come on, come on, please. Please? There we go, come on. Thank you. I'm literally, like, trying to keep the Joy-Con super stable here. Oh, why are there so many of these guys? Come on. There we go. This is a tough one. Okay, hold up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. That's a good set right there. That was a definitely one I needed. Okay, oh, there's some green ones up here. Oh, there's more. Come on. Where's the last one? There we go. Now we're on a roll. Now we're getting somewhere. Got a few more groups left and then a couple single ones, it looks like. So not bad, not bad. Either Suga, Astor, or maybe... Oh, because they showed off a baby. They would do baby Sidon. Everybody loves Sidon. They would totally do baby Sidon. It kind of confirmed new Astor story. Yeah, I heard something... I don't want to... I, I don't... I, I heard this in passing, but I don't want to spoil anything. Like, something about a, an Astor society, that's all I know. Is that, like... Because they did show multiple Astors, so I don't know if, like... You know what I mean? How that works exactly, but... If they make it more interesting, I'd love to see that. The other question... The other important question is that, is this going to set up anything to be related to Breath of the Wild 2? Right? Like, is that actually... Oh, I, I forgot. One of the uh, Tad Tones I have to go into the tree and flip over the lily pad for, so I can't forget that. But there's still three more groups of them, so those are going to be around somewhere. Those I gotta find. There was that one group that was, like, traveling really fast around here somewhere. So those are going to be around here somewhere. Um, I don't remember where they were. I already went through here, didn't I? So I don't think I want to go through there again. Where did those other ones go? That were just swimming by really quickly. There we Oh, there's one right there. Okay, there's a group right there. Oh, hello. Come to Link. No! No! Get him! Get him, Dad! No! Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. There we go. Not too bad. There's one group. Yeah, there's two more. Oh, well, actually, three more. No, wait. Oh, there's a lot more groups now. I lied. I just can't see. <laughs> there's a lot more groups. There's four, technically. There's a there's a pair of two. Probably not, but I won't deny the possibility. Yeah, I'm going to guess at this point, probably not. I'm going to agree with you there. It's logical, because I just, I don't know. I feel like they're kind of have, they're having Age of Calamity just be its own separate thing, it really seems like, so... I kind of doubt it. I really haven't been over here much yet. Okay, so that Tad Tone's in there. I need to... Oh, is that another one I have to flip over the lily pad for? I wonder if there's one over here, honestly, by the dungeon entrance. I wouldn't be surprised. I guess not. Okay. I am surprised it's not there. Uh, yeah, there's one under there, so I can't forget about that. I don't really... Oh, there's another group right there. Perfect. I don't want to touch those purple bubbles because I feel like they're probably not good. <laughs> they probably, like, get rid of air, honestly. Okay, I need these guys, though. Hello, my friends! Come to me! Perfect. Oh, and they, and they do give you air, which is nice. Did you want me to tell you the stages they showed? Uh, just keep it a secret for now, honestly. I'll figure it out, I'm sure, as I explore the game myself but yeah i kind of want to keep it a secret for now just in case i can figure out what it is because i honestly don't even remember what stages were in the trailer so like i don't know it'd be fun to kind of figure it out on my own once i actually play it you know because i mean it's it, we, it's only a month away for that dlc pack i think it's like october 29th or something like that so 
Not too much longer. Okay, so I have... There's a whole... Where is that big group? There's a bunch of them somewhere. I should be able to douse for these. Honestly, I should be able to douse for these tad tones. Ugh. This is going to be a pain searching all over the place for these things, you know? They said... To, oh, there's another group. Oh, there's the one I was talking about before that travel really fast. Okay. But if I do a... Uh... Oh, hello. There we go. Link, can you hear me? Oh, okay. Bucha wants to talk to me. Where is Bucha? Is he up there? Oh, I see him. Hold up. He's way up there. Hello, Bucha. Link, I thought up a good plan. How about I just give you the rest of the tad tone so you don't have to worry about anything else? Don't worry, Link. You're going to survive. There you go. No! No, <laughs> oh, jeez. Those sharks are terrifying. Hey, can I uh, get up on the lily pad? Thank you. There we go. If you don't remember, it's best. Yeah, I don't remember it all, honestly. So I'll keep it as a surprise. Also, Koei Tecmo is streaming the pack. Oh. So there's going to be more info. If I get spoiled on it, like on Twitter, I see something about it, I'll be like, yeah, whatever. Okay. But like, I'm not, I'm probably not going to watch. I wasn't planning on watching TG TGS anyways. So like, if I get spoiled, I get spoiled. That's kind of my thought process too with the Smash character, the final Smash character. They're going to actually announce it. It's at like 10 a.m. Eastern, which is my time zone. I'm like, ugh, that's like right during work. However, because I'm doing remote work, what I could probably do is say, is just be like, you know, I'm going to take my lunch break, like my half hour lunch break at 10 a.m. It's super, it's nice that it's super flexible like that. And literally just watch it slash live stream my reaction then, because otherwise there's no way I'm going to be able to stay spoiler free on that last fighter. And I really want to, but there's no way I'm going to be able to stay spoiler free. Sometimes you just can't avoid spoilers. I guess in terms of the direct, apparently the, uh, the 3D Kirby game and a Bayonetta 3 were actually leaked before the direct happened. And I was just like... As I somehow avoided those. I, I was just off social media that day, but I think even like IGN reported on it, which was just stupid. I hated it. I just big media outlets like that have so much influence, you know. If they tweeted something like that, if they they talk about something like a leak, then it's gonna get around. People are gonna see it. How should I explain this? You've got a thick butt. Yeah, I know, Bucha. I know it is a glorious thick butt. There's a technique you use when searching for. Oh, dowsing? Are you telling me that I can finally douse now? There we go. Why didn't you give me that before? It is a valid suggestion. Yeah, fine. You should have done that from the start. There we go. I was going to say, you should be able to douse for them. Well, that'll help a lot. I, I guess... Okay. They probably want you to get most of them on your own first, and then they introduce the ability. It, oh, it's 8 a.m. for you. Wow, that's early. The exact moment you have to be at work. Yeah, that's rough. Maybe I'll call work and tell them I'll be 30 minutes late. I mean, well, first of all, I think they said it's 40 minutes, but second of all... See, that's a tough situation, because, I mean, like, yeah, if you have to be at work, it, that's kind of rough, I'm not going to lie. Um, but then it's like, how do you avoid spoilers? Because you know, right, they're going to, like, have the live stream be called Sakurai Presents the Final Smash character. When they first have it, as soon as they upload it, they're going to change the thumbnail to be whatever character is announced, and then change the title of the video. So even if you, like, bookmark the video or whatever, which is sometimes what I do, it's going to be tough to avoid it. As long as I see the character, I'll be good. Yeah, you'll see the character no matter what. Um, I kind of talked about this at the beginning of the stream. I don't want it to be any Activision character. I was literally on the Crash for Smash train after Banjo was announced, because Banjo was previously my most wanted character. Then, you know, we got DLC. But with everything going on at Activision, I don't want them making a goddamn penny off of Smash Brothers. Like, no thank you. Keep them. I love the characters keep them out of there um my honest my my most wanted character besides that now is eggman from sonic because that would be they could do so much cool stuff with that it's not gonna happen so i'd be cool with sora master chief uh i'd be cool i'd want doom guy but they're never gonna put doom guy in there as long as it's not a, an activision character or jonesy whatever his name is from fortnite i'm good <laughs> As long as not one of those. And honestly, it could be a first party. It very well could be a first party character. Hopefully not a Pokemon. Hopefully not another Fire Emblem. I'd be so hyped for Dixie Kong. If it's Dixie Kong, I'd be so hyped. Or an Age of Calamity character. Throw an Age of Calamity Impa. That'd be so cool. Yeah, I want to crash too. It's just like, I don't... 
I'm sure these companies make some amount of royalties off of like having their music stages characters included. I don't want Activision touching Smash Bros. I don't want them anywhere near it. If it's Crash or Spyro, if they're in there, like I'll be excited for the character and I already have the full fighters pass, so I'll try it out. But I'm also just going to be like, they were, the thing is the characters were decided a while ago by Nintendo supposedly, so it could be. Dixie Kong and someone, can we get a new Zelda character? Can we get a new Zelda character? Like, that would be great. That would be great. Please note that you cannot use your Jazz ability underwater. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I only have a few more to get, which is good. Okay, so. This is going to help a lot. There's one directly downwards. I already know at least one of them. Hello, shark. Get away from me, please. Nope. You can go away. Bye-bye. Wait. It wasn't still set to the goddess cube, right? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going in the completely wrong direction. It said it was down. What the heck? Oh, I see. There's some. Cool, cool, cool. I am gonna run out of oxygen, but these tad tones, I believe, give me air, so I should be good if I just get one of them. Get one! What? No, we're not gonna. Link, please don't do this to me, buddy. Link, please. Okay, I can get this guy. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it like it gives you some air. Looks like, please. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. These swimming controls are really not making me happy right now. Come on. How? There we go. Yes, yeah, so this is the big group that I was missing. Okay, right around the tree here. Oh, last one. Come on. Get him. Link, please. Link. Oh, barely. There we go. Okay. There's another group. Honestly, my best bet is just to go back up to the surface, find a place I can stand on, and then just... Bye-bye. Okay, those guys do... Yeah, you can hurt them. Okay. Just stun them, it looks like, though. Let me go up here. Octorok, buddy! Come on. Oh, no, it's a Kikui. I thought I actually thought it was an Octorok this time. Tingle for Smash. Yes, Alejandro. That'd be funny. Hey, Slash Cole. No worries. Thanks for joining for a little bit. That was fun. No worries at all. I'm always down to talk to people about Smash. Tingle for Smash for sure, though, Alejandro. That'd be so funny. I would actually... That'd be, like, the perfect troll character to end on. I would... If Tingle got revealed, I would lose it. I would die laughing so hard. That would be so funny. I actually want that now. Now that you mention it, I want that. Sakurai, put him in Smash. Let's get Tingle in there. Oh, is it... Oh, inside the tree trunk here? Whoa, that's a big one. What the heck? Hey! Where are you going? That's what I thought. Oh, is that like the first note? No, it's just a, okay, it's a big one. I'm now missing... Oh, cool, I'm only missing... Like a duo there. I know one of them is under a lily pad somewhere. Ah, you know it would be great? If I could see what's on the camera. Okay, there we go. No, thank you. Let's get out of the way of that shark. Okay. Right, because one of them... Oh, there's one down there. Is there any over here? That's the one under the lily pad right over there. But there's also one... Oh, there's one right over there, it looks like. I was trying to tell me there's one right there. Let me go after this one first. It looks like it's really directing me that way. So let me go after that one first. And the shark... I'm gonna try to hurt me, so no thank you, buddy. Okay, let me see. I'm guessing this is probably the duo. Oh, I really need air. Air bubbles, please! It's okay, Link, I believe in you, buddy. There we go. That's the trade-off with doing the spin move here, is that, yeah, it really does uh, deplete some of your oxygen. Oh, is that it right there in the grass? There's something in there. Where's the other one? What? There's supposed to be two. Where's the other one? I see one. Where the heck is the other one? 
Oh, I see it. It's in this other patch of grass. I didn't even see it before. Okay. Yeah, so there's the duo that I'm missing. There we go. Come to Link. And yeah, I know one of them is under a lily pad over here. I wonder if I can see it from here. I think it's that big guy right there. So, I, and I know... Oh, no! No! Yeah, get out of here. That's that one over there. Now the question is, where's the final one? Oh! Right under there, huh? I'm super close. That works. How far down is the question? I can't go over this. It's gotta be farther down here. Is it in here? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Hold up. I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. I forgot you can um, deflect those pufferfish guys. They kind of work as bombs. I gotta bomb that wall. It's totally in there. I can deflect it when it spikes around, I think, actually. Let me try it. Yeah, I gotta do that, but actually, you know, like, knock him into the wall there. That's the goal. Oh, hello. Glad they respawned. There you are. And then that final one's under the lily pad. Where do you think you're going? There's only about one more, right? Oh, hi, friend. Bye. I think it's just that last one. Yep, there we go. Okay, I will say I'm glad they let you douse for these guys afterwards. Oh, I wish there was an easier way to get up there. I have to go all the way down to the base of the tree, I think, again. Okay, down we go. Woo. I believe in you, Link. Yeah, and I've already been going for a little over two hours now, so... I'm guessing once I'm done with this, I can learn the song. Hopefully, Faron unfloods the forest, because, I mean, that's kind of a dick move. Like, you know how many other creatures are now, like, their habitats are gone because you're flooding this whole area? You know what I mean? That's a whole argument against, like, um... Like, building dams and stuff like that. You literally ruin the ecosystems of so many creatures that live there. So I was like, you're doing the same thing, Freyon. You're not helping the situation. At all. Can I climb up here, please? Please? Oh, I can... Can I do a spin out? Okay, there we go. Hey, guess what? Guess what? You suck! Okay. What I, yeah, what I really need to do... Let me just save here, just to be safe. Just to be safe. I'm super paranoid. Just to be safe. Now, I gotta figure out... I'm trying to remember where the lily pad is. It's not... The, oh! Damn it, I could have hookshot up here. I didn't even realize I could do that. Okay. I'm, actually, is this it? Yeah, I believe so. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. I gotta do what I did in the Ancient Cistern, and then, yeah, flip off the... Uh, Lily pad and free that guy. There we go. There, that should be the final one. Where'd you go, little buddy? There it is. That's oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll just die right at the end there. That's the song. Is this the part of the song, or is this just some random song that I just learned? I guess this would make sense if it's actually the song I'm supposed to learn. You know? That was a little tedious, but it wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. It could have been... Could have been the imprisoned fight again. <laughs> You've gathered all the tad stones. The tad... Oh, I... Why do I... I keep saying tad stones. I'm, I meant tad tones. <laughs> That's no small feat. Nice, nice pun there. Yeah, okay. So let me go back to the water dragon. I didn't even realize I could have done this before, because those pea hats are there now. It's weird, because the pea hats aren't really enemies in this game, are they? They're kind of just used to, like, yeah, with your claw shot to kind of get around, so that's kind of funny. They're not so bad after all. They're kind of cute. They're just like floating plants. <laughs> you know. Alright. And we go. Can I go in this way? No. Okay. Oh, was it down here? Oh, the bird statue, right. Okay. So maybe that wasn't the song? Or maybe she's just gonna unflood the forest now. Undo your crap! 
Get your bullshit out of here, Pharaon. I have brought them all back. You should maybe swim through all of that. You know, she could have wasted so much time. Link's literally trying to stop the return of Demise, and she wastes so much of Link's time here. At least with Lanabru, he couldn't do anything because he was sick. And then Elden, we just couldn't get to because of the... Actually, I don't even know why. We had to reach Elden in order to talk to them, but at least Pharaon just flooded the woods and probably killed a bunch of innocent creatures as well as monsters, and then decided to waste so much of Link's time looking for music notes. <sighs> and you don't even have a good singing voice. <laughs> you are a waste of my time, Pharaon. Link's just trying not to lose it. He's like, I've done so much for this woman. He literally had to go into the sky. He had to revisit the Skyview Temple just to get this person, just to get this dragon. Some sacred water so that she could grow big and get out of her pot. Like... Uh, Baron's caused me so much pain. So much pain. Your task is far from over. Yeah, yes, return it back, Baron. Get out of here, drain it. There we go, now we're talking. Thank you. Jeez, was it that hard? Was it that difficult? Now they can actually live their lives again, thank you. Like, once Slink takes care of Demise, those monsters should be gone, so... Thank you. And that is all of the dragons. I don't even know what that noise I've heard. Oh, is that that's the old guy, isn't it? I forgot about the old guy. He's up in the tree somewhere. Successfully collected three parts of the song. Right. Yeah, so I have to go to Levi's to complete the song. Should have just checked Link's LinkedIn profile to see his worthiness. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't even think of that. Um, Alejandro, was that, inten was that an intentional pun with the whole LinkedIn thing? Because, uh, I could see that. That'd be a funny pun, actually. Um, yeah, literally, she could have just, like, searched him up on LinkedIn and been like, Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got a good amount of connections. He's legit. <laughs> oh, he's, con he's, he has a first connection with the goddess Hylia herself? Okay, this has got to be the, the, the true hero, like... <laughs> I don't know what Zelda's the uh, Zelda universe's equivalent of LinkedIn would be. I mean, it's probably just word of mouth and just like you know, like um, reputation. Honestly, because they don't, they wouldn't have any system like that. I don't think. Ooh, let me go down there and get that goddess chest because I want to. I cannot reach it. No. Oh, so close. I think yeah, I'm supposed to get up here with the claw shot. That's what I'm supposed to do. Might as well do that while I'm here. But yeah, I'm probably gonna end the stream in a bit just because it's been a little over two hours already. Um, that's a good place to stop, honestly, getting the last dragon. Next time I'll have to go to Levias and finish, uh... <laughs> I'll have to, uh... Finish the the song, and then I, I don't even know what happens after that. I think, I mean, I think the intention of that song... Oh, don't even... Don't even try to shit on me again, you bird. Get out of here. Try it. He did it! Hey! Disgusting. That was gross. Oh yeah, I need to switch to yeah, goddess keys again. Yeah, so here's the question. How do I get up there? Oh, I probably have to, I probably have to climb up the tree to get up there, don't I? Uh yeah, I'm gonna have to climb all the way up there, aren't I? Are there any other oh it looks like there's another one, actually. I might as well just go after these while I'm here, to be honest. Oh, wait. How far away is that? Oh, that's going to be in Lake Floria, isn't it? Mm, do I really want to... Oh, how many are there out here? Holy crap. Really? I'm surprised there's a lot of them. Let's get out of here. Okay, are the P-Hats still there? No, they're not. Okay, that's rough. But I might be able to... I just don't want to have to swim all the way up again through, like, the bottom roots of... Um, what am I trying to say? The, the roots of the, the tree over here to get back up to the top. Um, I think I can actually... Can I claw shot the vines from here? 
Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Haha! Oh, come on. Really? I'm so close. Oh, this would save so much time. Come on. Come on, Link. You got this. I believe in you. I don't like those spiders, but I want to get up there. They're really going to make me go all the way through again, aren't they? I swear. I just can't get into a good position is the thing. You know? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. It's not going to let me. Ah, uh, sucks! There's got to be another way up there. Right, there has to be. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, there's a hole under here. Maybe I can do that. If this is going to take way too long, I don't even know if I'm going to waste my time, to be honest. Because, like, okay, there's, oh, there's a goddess cube up there. How am I supposed to get up there without climbing all the way to the top of the tree? And I don't want to do that again. I really don't. I think I'm going to have to, though. I think it's the only way to do it. Oh, uh, what time am I at? Okay. You know what? I might just, like, call it here and then save that for... Because, I mean, I want to get those goddess cubes. I really do. So... I might just call it here and save that for the next stream. I think that'll probably be good. Where's the closest, uh... Oh, there's one in the tree. I don't want to go in the tree, though. I'd have to go all the way up, actually, to get there. Oh, actually, uh... Hmm. I wonder if I can reach it from... Nope, Link. Come on, buddy. No. No, no, no. Link. Uh, the recalibration, I think, screwed me up there. There we go. I'm not gonna be able to reach it from here, am I? Nope, I did not select this link shot. Ah! Aha! Ah! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Get away from me, spider. Get away from me. Bye! Get those stupid spiders out of here. Okay, cool. Maybe I can... I not expect to be able to make that from there, but I'm not complaining. Uh-oh. Oh, no. You know, I don't like that. Hey, guess what? You suck. No, I don't need more bees. Fine, I'll just catch you all. Then you can't do anything about it. What are you going to do about it, huh? There we go. What are you going to do about it? One little bee. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here. Okay, yeah, I can literally just go down here. Okay. I never explored this before. Cool, let me get that goddess chest now. Or, sorry, goddess cube now. And then I can take one more out of the equation. Hey, can we... There we go. Like I'm saying, that recalibration, it gets a little annoying sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Stream's gonna be a little long, isn't it? Oh well. Uh. Okay, you know what? That'll be the last one. Let me find where's the closest bird statue. The Pharaoh Woods entry. Yeah, let me go over there. I don't want this going on too, too, too long. I'm debating. I might play some more Spire Three after this. I'm not too sure though. I'll see what I'll do, but, um, yeah, okay, okay, I'm gonna end the stream here, because that was pretty good progress, the stream, um, found the last two dragons, Lanayru and, um, Faron. Faron was stupid with the whole Tadtone quest, that was a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie, um, how many are, I'm just about at 39, okay, I'm definitely getting close, that's for sure, uh, but at least, yeah, I, I was able to, uh, I did the Faron part with, you know, the Tadtones, and that was kind of a, a little bit annoying. And then, oh, the second, uh, the third in prison fight, sorry, the third in prison fight there, that was also annoying, but, like, better than the second one, I will say, it's just kind of annoying that, you know, it's like, you gotta fight it three times. Yeah, Alejandro, I'm glad you could join in for a bit, it was fun chatting with you about, uh, Smash Brothers and all things Skyward Sword and everything. Um, 
and yeah the the neighbor one was fun. I, I liked going through and um reviving the neighbor that was kind of cool and doing that whole part but that is going to be it for the stream um so next time i'll be streaming again on tuesday night starting at 7 p.m eastern like the usual schedule um and i'll be I, i'm gonna go after a couple of those goddess cubes while i'm in Faron now but then after that i'll be going back to check out levias figure out the rest of the song and i don't know what's going to happen with the story from there i just got to find those triforce and then probably do some side quests as well catch up on a few i'm sure that became available maybe even get Petro to become human again we'll see but anyways thank you all for watching if you watch live or you watch the vod after like i said however you interact or if you don't at all however you watch i always appreciate it um but i like i said yeah i appreciate it and thank you again for watching um yeah, I'll see you. Enjoy the rest of Enjoy, like, yeah, thank you, uh, Alejandro. Have a good night as well. Enjoy the, like, the next uh, little bit of your weekend. I'm sure it's mostly over, but I will see you fresh at the start of the week on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Take care in the meantime. Bye.